Hey, board gamers, BJ from Board Game Gumbo here, back with a special episode of Gumbo Live. Yes, that was the outro, not the intro, if you were wondering. Sorry about that. We're <laughs> worried about all the technical things. Hey, we are at the UK Games Expo, virtually expo. So we're doing this online. I've got some buddies, and we're going to be playing Venice live right here from Brain Crack, thanks to Lewis and Emily, who gave us a sneak peek at this game that's out on uh, it, fulfilling on Kickstarter at some point. But we're going to give you a sneak peek as to what it looks like. Venice. Welcome to Venice from Brain Crack Games. It's designed by Andre Novak and David Turchi. It plays one to five players in about an hour to 90 minutes. We're going to take on the roles of wealthy, influential merchants as we ride our gondolas up and down the city's canals. We're going to train our assistants. We're going to complete contracts. And we're going to use influence to gain political power, right? Points as we build up our businesses. But in Venice, it's never business as usual. While we broker those contracts, we're going to be flirting with the seedy underbelly of Venice, and we're going to have to we're going to have to try to avoid arousing too much suspicion from the Venetian Inquisition, or else we're going to get arrested at the end of the game and lose everything we built up. So let's introduce our players from the free state of North Louisiana. His personal motto: You can't spell the word engine building game without F U N. It is Sagan Ezel. Sagan, come on in. Let's see if I can get you up there. Sagan, Sagan, where are you, Sagan? Uh, hello, hello. Hey. hey, 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 there I am. Sagan. How's it going? How's it going? I'm really excited about this. Welcome aboard, Sagan. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an awesome time. Let's see if I can get to, oh I got Lewis joining in. Lewis, I didn't mean to pop you in, but there you are. <laughs> Here I am. Hi. Hi. Brain crack, man. Welcome aboard. Big surprise is spoiled. Yeah, sorry, about that wasn't a surprise. Uh thank you. I pressed <laughs> the wrong button. But thank you for uh for giving us that teach, and we are looking forward to to Venice. And, you know, before I bring in our, our, our other player, hey, quick announcement. You guys have a new game coming out, right? We do. That's the thing. I hacked your systems and I put myself on screen so I could say that we are we have announced Florence, which is the third game in this trilogy. Um, hopefully coming to Kickstarter early next year. Uh, it's very pretty. If you haven't already, go online and look at the look at the cover. It's nice. Can't it's wait. Let's bring in our third player. DJ, can you hear me? All the way from the great state of Indiana, home of John Cougar Mellencamp and Gen Con, of course. If you need any advice on how to win at Charterstone, you should definitely send Don Lyles a, 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 a postcard. Don, come on in. He's our third player. What's up, Don? Don, can you Hello. hear? I can't hear you, though. Can you uh -oh. hear me? Uh oh. Oh, that's going to be a problem there. Yeah, we. Did we lose your feed, Don? Don, can you hear us? All right, let's get let's get Don back downstairs, and we'll see if we can work on that. Uh, and let's bring in our board, and then we'll start the game. Lewis, you're going to go back into audio, and you're going to be kind of our guide in the background. Is that that right? Test, test. Yeah, sure. Talking rule book. Okay, good. Yeah, talking the great right. rule book. So let's get the stream. All right, Don, what's going on with your your mic there? What are we going to do here? How about now, Don? Can you hear us? Looking forward to playing it. I'll just talk as if you can hear me. I can't hear you. Can you see us, Don? I can see you. Okay, so he can see us, but he can't hear us. Sagan, any ideas? Oh, we can hear him. We can hear him. Yeah, we can hear him. Let let him know that we can hear him. Yeah. Send, send him a quick message that we can hear him. All right, let's get that solo board up, and we can give a quick uh, tour of the game. I wonder what is going on with his mic. Not sure right now. All right, so we got the game of Venice. There we go. Let me let me bring in this board, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give an overview of the board here. We've got it in 3D player mode right here. There we go. Beautiful board. The 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 this one is a nice little overlay where you can see everything about the canals and all the buildings. But for the purposes of this game. So, so Don is going to play silently until he can fix his uh, microphone. Sorry about that, Don. <clears throat> Lewis, uh, I, I can give the overview unless you want to do it real quick. No, go ahead. Okay. So as I said in the intro, Venice, we're, we're, we're going to play a three-player game, and we're players that are trying to build up our businesses doing things that are the right way to do it. Of course, we're also going to use a little intrigue and influence maybe to, to touch in with the criminal element of Venice. The game is very simple. It's a great engine building game, and it also has the mechanic of pick up and deliver. So as you can see on this board, there's 12 buildings. 10 of those are gonna be buildings that we can 
put our assistants on, and three of them are the communal buildings. And that's these three right here that I'm going to be demonstrating. We're going to play trying to score points. The points come from a couple of different ways. You can still hear me. That's good stuff. Yeah. At the top of the board, you're going to see this nice little track. That track shows the, the major council track where we're putting our influence. That's these tokens right here. Since we're playing a three-player game, we're going to mark it over here at 12. One of the ways the game triggers is if one of the players moves this token there or past it, and that'll trigger the end of the game, which will give us two more quick rounds to play. Another way is these little mission cards down here. If ever we draw the last mission card, and that's basically the pick up and deliver contracts, that'll also trigger the end of the game. The points will come from those mission cards on each one as we deliver, and then they'll also come here at the top. Uh, this little track right here, if you see where I'm pointing, this little track, this little uh, cheat sheet here shows us that in a three-player game, the person who is on the furthest on that track is going to score 12 points and then corresponding after that. A couple of other ways to score points. The, we have assistants that are going to help us as we move our gondolas around the city. When we place those assistants uh, out, if we can place all 10 first, then that means we're going to get this bonus right over here. And you can see that's eight points for the first person to do that. You also get another kind of bonus. If you can put seven or eight of your assistants out on the board during the course of the game, you're going to get half of your major council points. If you can put nine or ten of your assistants out on the game, you're going to get your major council points again. And that can be really powerful. And, of course, during the game, you're going to get points by playing some of those cards, uh, delivering the contracts, of course, uh, and also a little bit of intrigue. Whoever's ahead on the intrigue track is going to have a little favor with the underbelly and is going to score more points as we go around. The game is very simple. We're going to take our gondolas. There's two of them. We're going to use a gondolier on our turn to denote which of the boats we want to move. Then we'll move the boats around the city, taking any actions where we have assistance as we pass them, doing meetings as we cross other players, Giving, giving our boats, switching between our boats, all the resources we have. And then once we stop, we can add an assistant or upgrade an assistant and activate the building when we get there. That's kind of the overview. Lewis has an awesome little cheat sheet here on the right side. It goes through the steps. First thing you'll do is play an influence card if you have them. That's these, uh, these little red cards here. They kind of break the game. They give you cool little special powers. Then you'll move your gondolier. You always have to switch between the boats Unless you have the money, you can pay three coins and use that gondolier in the same boat again. It encourages using the two different boats during the game. Then you'll move your boats, just like I said, taking those actions as you pass them up. That's that engine building mechanic. Then when you get to the place you want to, if you have completed a mission, and that'll be if you have the right scrolls, the right silk, the right ceramics in your boat, you can turn that in and get those points and coins. The cool thing about turning those coins is it's another part of the engine building. You'll take those mission cards and put them in your player board. You've got three nice little spots here. Those give you a permanent effect during the game. You can even get more mission cards to complete. If you go to these two squares here, St. Mark's and the Doge's Palace, you can purchase more mission cards. Of course, anytime you're trying to do business in the city, you got to pay your taxes. So as many cards as you already have, either completed or in your hand, you'll pay those coins in taxes. And then the last thing, you'll act, advance and activate the building where you landed. All right. That's just kind of a general overview. I think uh, the, the game will be a lot more fun, Sagan, if we play it and people will see as we play, we'll talk through our turns, right? Let's do it. All right. Good. We don't have a, uh, I don't think Don can hear us, but he's still in the game. Oh, he can hear I us. Don, I think Madon might be back. Don, welcome back from the great state of Indiana. Welcome back, Don. It's awesome to have you here. Okay. Don, this is a special game for you. Isn't that right? Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe Don's not back. I hear him. Yeah, he's doing great. Keep talking. Oh, no, I can't hear him. <laughs> Is he outside your window, BJ? No, I, I hear Don. <laughs> Don, keep talking. I can hear you, man. Don was saying his uh, his ancestors were actually gondoliers in Venice. 
So a cool story. Oh, cool. And he always looks for any kind of games that have a Venice touch to them. And someday he may even visit Venice. And if you do, bring your Kickstarter copy of Venice and play it out there. So talk the about the perfect player for this game. Yeah, talk about. So, so Don, unfortunately, you can hear me, but the chat crew cannot hear you. So if you if you if you have to tell me anything, go ahead, and I'll keep you. I'll keep talking. Talk through your moves, just in case your vocals come back, and keep working on it. So, Lewis, tell tell us how we're going to set up this game. So um, I've already done what, the first bit of it. Uh, we're going to reduce this pile of mission cards to thirteen. Um, this is because essentially one of our one of our game timers. Um, then I'm going to deal three cards to each player. So that's purple and orange and blue. And then each player is going to choose two of those to keep and one of them to pop back on the deck and shuffle in. And Lewis, this, say these this mission game cards is are way better than the ones you gave me before. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and Lewis, this game is actually available for on TTS if people want to try it before it hits retail, right? Yeah, this this same version we're playing now is available on TTS. Uh, I'm making a little little incremental improvements as, as people come back and give me some feedback on it. So um, if you if you play it on Steam and enjoy it, might take a little make a little comment on it on the workshop. We love um, the coin tracker. We we tried it out last night. Much better. So much easier. Yeah. All right. I like that. And one. Yeah, I've got got new new stands in there as well that kind of go over the length of a gondolier. Because um, for those of you who don't know, there's there's stacking gondoliers in this game, first in the world. <laughs> stacking gondoliers. Oh, I love that. So, Don, can you hear? Um, can you hear when he's talking? Sure. Okay, good. All right. So we just don't have you on the mic. So unfortunately, you know the gondoliers in this game are kind of like. Uh, you know, the double-decker buses in London, right? You just kind of see people stacked on top of each other going down the uh, canals. <laughs> it's yeah. True. All right, Steve. Oh, Steve's got a little nice little link there to the uh, Kickstarter page. You can still get all the info you want on it. All right, so and it's I... still available for pre-order as well. So they can go right to the Kickstarter page and, and check out the pre-order? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. It's also thank Kickstarter exclusives. It's still a chance. Thank you, the name father. At Adolf, you can check it out right there on the Kickstarter page. You, you, the campaign is over, but you can still pick it up. All right, let's get right to the plan here. Uh, in the setup, Lewis, as I recall, the first player is going to put out a gondola. Second player put out one. The third player will put two of them out, and then we'll snake back to the first player, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to give the first player marker to whoever that lucky person is who fancies it. I think I'll take it. Okie dokie. I think you and deserve then, it. Yeah. Or maybe need it is the word. Each person gets six coins. I definitely need it. We'll do that. And then each subsequent person from the start player will get two extra coins. So uh, there we go. Flush with yes. cash. Oh, I'm mad, Sagan, because, you know, to give myself an advantage, I'd set up the game, memorized where the buildings were. I was like, yeah, I'm going to have a little <laughs> advantage on Don. And, and, of course, we had to reboot the computer, and now we have a whole new setup. <laughs> Oh. oh, yeah. So that's good. another note for anyone who isn't isn't familiar. Yeah, the, the these little building tiles are different layout every time. So you've got a different kind of uh, different puzzles to solve, different engine to, oh, to it optimize. It's so delicious too. You're you're taking the intrigue concept in the game and you're metagaming with it and having the preferred setup before we got here. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I need every advantage. You know how bad I am. I'm terrible. By the way, I should. I have been told by. Um, by Facebook that I have to make this announcement. If you if you don't like terrible beatdowns, if you're if you get um, you know if 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 you're opposed to watching people just terribly lose in a game, you might want to turn the video off because it's from, <laughs> I'm doing well right now, but it's going to go downhill pretty quickly after that. All right, so Sagan, I think you're what color are you? I'm blue. Yeah, so I think so, it's Don's turn. And Don, yeah, it's Don's gondola, and I get the uh, back to back. Yep, and Don. Is going to get a bonus of two coins, so he's going to have eight coins over here, Don. And then Sagan, you're going to start with the. Uh, I got ten. ten. Oh yeah, ten. I see it now. Six, eight, and ten. Ready to go. All right, Don's going to go there. I think I would like to start probably here. Get right in BJ's way to start. So, Lewis, we were just testing out the mechanics, and 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 we, we need to make sure people uh, know this is not your typical three, four, five euro. This plays one and two people also, right, Lewis? 
Indeed, yeah, we've got a little, we've got a solo deck in there as we did with Ragusa, uh, where you can play against the Doge and God, he can, he has some 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 things he can do to you in that deck. That's worth checking out. Um, mm -hmm. And then we've got a little little one page rules for kind of two player where each person gets essentially a, a third boat that they can then just push around to trigger extra meetings, which which then gives intrigue and just makes it a lot more exciting. Personally, the the two player is my favorite way to play um because it's just so fast like you can you can play a full game of this two player in like half hour 40 minutes don and wow. i played don and i played the two player but we were just teaching the mechanics right we we kept all the mission cards and we didn't use the smuggler boats and it was like we were playing two independent games you really need those smuggler boats to, yeah yeah to it pushes over the edge and, one it, of the beauties and, it, of the and it's simple <laughs> enough as well like you Go can ahead. just you, it's it's a simple enough kind of addition. You can just you know push them around, and it just it's just that little little bit extra that, that that makes it worth it. I mean, one of the things that I really liked was the fact that it has uh, so much player interaction. You know, that's it's there's there's. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're yeah, so every time somebody, I I love every time somebody crosses. You've got the little interaction. You've got the little uh, meetings that happen and uh, scrolls going back and forth and intrigue going back and forth. Like it's it's really themey. It's it's not a game if you like to check your phone when it's not your turn. <laughs> you got <laughs> to stay true. involved. <laughs> All right, Don. So I'm going to take the first turn. I'll put my gondolier here in the back of the boat. And then the cool mechanic here is that you got to pay coins for as far as you want to go, but you get a free. Uh, a little free start to the first the first space you go to you can cover it with that marker i don't have to pay those two coins i'll move over to the what is that the um council mm -hmm. minor council minor council and i will add um one of my assistants to it you should uh you, you should have all started with um assistance on the buildings where you first placed your gondolas as well sorry i forgot to mention oh that. oh i forgot that so yeah you, so so for instance here Don would pop a assistant on the first place of the market, get a little orange cube in his boat. Oh, and you'd, the game too. You'd, you'd all do the same for all of your for your gondolas. You, so you, you, you start a little bit, you know, with a little you, bit of a head start. I didn't remember. Do you get the benefits also? Do you get you do. those cubes? Yeah. Well, let's do that then. I'll put one here. I'll put one here. I'm telling you, this thing would look is going to look so visually impressive. I saw your post uh, yesterday, Lewis. Well, yesterday for me, I saw your post of the. Um, the production models that the factory's been sending you uh, they're fantastic they're yeah cool. oh they look so cool don wait till you see them with the little the little the boats and uh, i Ooh, forgot the thing pretty cool I, th I think don as well you need to yeah, um, you pop, away. Pop one of your cards oh, no. back on the mission deck um you should start start with two in hand i am done all right and i think i got the rule mm. right lewis when we put a bridge out, if you happen to be next to that bridge and you take the turn, the rules say that you don't use the wave action for the to skip that first cost because you don't have any cost already. Yeah, of the yeah, it, it, it's still yeah. The, your first movement is free, and it's just you know the, it doesn't doesn't carry over. Yeah. All right, we did that right then. Yeah, so far very intuitive. I mean, we the, mm -hmm. we don't have the full rule book. We have kind of an abridged rule book, and it's been everything we need, especially since you have this handy dandy little cheat sheet. In fact, let me show the audience here. These are the buildings that we're going to be we're going to be looking. And if you need to find out what the building is, oh, when you look at the board, you're like, oh, how am I going to find anything? The way that the the graphic design is perfect. The big buildings are easy to spot, and that's the three at the top. And then the rest of the buildings are all color coded. So if you need a ceramics, which are the orange cubes, look at the top. They're all orange buildings, and you can find them out on the uh, thing because you can look at the top and see the orange cubes. If you need a uh, purple, which is I think silk, is that right? Silk. Yeah. Yeah, yep. if, you need, if you need silk, they're they're color coded in the middle of the sheet, and of course, if you need this uh, the stone, they're color coded at the bottom of the sheet. So, nice job on that rule on that uh, summary there for us, Lewis. Thank you. Looks like looks like Don's starting at the major council right away. I think he might be going for an early bridge. <laughs> early bridge. Strategy. Here it comes. Yeah, you, he's trying, trying, trying to end the game as soon as possible. He's trying to. <laughs> Trying to, trying to get up to that end game marker and just no, we gotta have fun at least man. just just, just race you all to it <laughs> there, there's always someone right that's going to try to race that that end game so uh and and Ooh. is he really going to put it there oh right in the middle of everything right in the, this is the power alley and people the people are just going up and down these two canals like crazy mm -hmm. um 
So in this game, it's got the little standees, but in the real game, Lewis, they're actually going to be just beautiful ways to st stack on top of each other. And you've gotten co confirmation from the manufacturer right. that it works. Oh yeah, yeah. We we've tried it every think... step of the process. We had a little we had a little three D printed prototype ones when we were out playing it with people at conventions. And yeah, you just got this little lamp post in the center of your gondola, and then a little uh, little nook underneath the. The, the kind of bottom of your gondola and just sits lovely on top of that and the, and the big kind of fin at the bottom I, I, I urge everyone to go and look at the look at the kickstarter campaign and those models because yeah they're just they're lovely it's in the latest update oh Don's I, think, one of the uh, I think don is done i am yeah i'm gonna head monastery so i'm um, getting my first free movement here from the storehouse and i uh, don't like to pay right now so because i'm going over to the monastery that's actually gonna uh kick kick bj up a step and so his second. worker is going to be a little more powerful next time he comes back there. Um, but I need to get over there as well. So he he beat me to it already. We're we're already at that point of the game, honestly, mm -hmm. BJ. Yes, but, I can yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it for me. So uh, oh, that's you. Good point. Good good point each player starts with one scroll and no intrigue so we got to make sure we put our things on there and i'm going to lock that board in how about you uh sagan you have yours done i'm yeah. i'm good all right whose turn is it mine it's you yep all right so this is this will be the first time we see this if i want to i can play this uh this gondola again but i'd have to pay three coins and i don't want to do that this early so i'm going to take the gondolier and move them over to here instead and i've got to take my actions there Sagan, my buddy, has he just wants visit? he wants that free point. You knew where I was going, uh, Lewis. We've been just kind of putting the boats on the side a little bit, you know, just to make it easy for us. Sure. Uh, but this is technically represented by being on top of the boat. Sagan gets a point for every boat above him, so he's going to give himself a free victory point. Woohoo! I am going to because he was my buddy. I'm going to buddy up with him. Not that I wanted to, but as soon as I saw you place, so I'm like, oh, he's going to get it done there. This and is what I'll, I call getting out to an early lead. I know what you're doing. So <laughs> I'll put that gray cube right there, and I'm on top of you. Yep, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, man, I you have to pay that. I scratch your back, you scratch mine, right? I bumped you up over there. You bumped me up right here. That's Venetian politics, man. You know, we're going to catch some redfish in the canals of Venice. It's the council of back scratching. <laughs> That's right. Oh, so much more interactive having these six boats all over the place. I mean, already I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have to just cross some people. All right, so Lewis, tell tell the uh, the viewers what's going to happen when I, whenever I eventually cross this bridge that Don just plopped in the middle of my way. So yeah, do you want do you want a little give, give a little zoom in so everyone can see? In the uh, yeah, in the physical copy, you got these these frankly ginormous uh, bridges that you can place on on the canals, and they make. The, the usual cost of that canal free for everyone. Um, but there's a catch, there's always a catch. And in this case, it means that anytime the owner of the bridge goes underneath it, they will get one coin. So in this case, Don will get one coin going over that canal. And anyone else who goes underneath that bridge, gossip will spread, they'll get an intrigue. So it can really influence the kind of paths that uh, the people can take around the, or, or, or people want to take around the, around the city. Yeah. Steve has a question. He says, seems like a lot of the interaction is getting in each other's way in the canals, forcing people to take the long way around. It's true. That is, you know, that's that puzzle of, oh, look at all these bridges. Look at these boats. I need to find alternate ways to go around. But there's also sometimes where you're trying to cross. We've had cards where crossing people, you want to do that because it's going to give them extra intrigue or force uh, different actions, Lewis. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's a strategy that you can lean into, you know, that, that movement, because it's important to remember that the intrigue in the short term is something you want, because every time you visit the major council, you're moving up in, in, in uh, on the kind of political track uh, in order of, you know, how uh, how many people have less intrigue than you. So it's a great way to, to get yourself some, some early points. It's just a case of building it into your engine so that, you, you know, you don't end end up with the most intrigue at the end and it will be for nothing. Um, yeah, oh, the, the, yeah. There's, there's a lot of reasons you, you'll want to do that. And equally, if, if you've got enough buildings that give you scrolls, you can just pay off that intrigue every time someone sells past or there's cards that allow you to do it as part of their ongoing effect. There are, there's, um, it's definitely a kind of a choice, not something that the game's you know forcing you to do. Is Don still turn, still taking his turn or? Okay. So Sagan, did you take your turn? All right. 
I'm, uh, I guess I'm up. So uh, I'm going to, I'm going to move uh, my gondolier as well. I don't think paying that three coins is the right choice for me. And uh, I'm going to send this person to the library, get a, get a book or two. So uh, that's going to put another one of my assistants out there, get a purple cube. And I am set up uh, ready to build a bridge. I mean, not that I would uh, try to, you know, tax people. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. All right, so I'm going to move my gondolier here because I also don't want to pay the three. I think, oh, I hate that. Oh, no, sometimes it doesn't lock in there. <laughs> you know, I'll just leave it like this. All right, uh, as much as I hate to do this, I'm going to just <sighs> got to give some free points out here. So I'll come back to this side. Again, thank you. I know you're, you're clogging right where I want to be, but here's the cool thing. My assistant has been advanced up by my buddy Sagan. That gives me two scrolls, which I'm going to need and an orange cube. Thank you. And, you, and you're going to advance up as well. Remember? Oh, I forgot all about that. That's right. I knew yeah. That. We're, we're, are we both going to advance or is just he going to advance on this? Just, just, just be Joe because he's there and ahead. He's not pushing anyone up and he will Rude. gain, he'll draw two influence cards and then pick which one he wants to keep. Oh, I had, a cool the card last, the... I had a cool card last night where I drew three. Oh, sorry. I didn't do that. Where I drew three and I got to pick one of them. Uh, so I'm going to draw two, correct? Mm hmm. Yep. All right. And I'll be able to look at those in my board. All right. And my turn is done if somebody else wants to go. There's a yep. nice, nice, nice shortcut in, in TPS uh, if you just, um, if you like press one when oh, you're yeah, kind of press hovering two, over press a two, right? Deck. Yeah, or two, yeah. Although don't do what I did the other day where I just you know, tap it a couple times and just draw up the entire deck. Draw <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I like both of these. Don's and you said it to the church. And you said if I pay five coins, I can keep both of these cards, right, Lewis? I did. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> you you made me that. second guess myself. <laughs> All right, I'm that dropping like, Don, like I think it's done. As much as so, I want to keep that one. This card goes on the bottom of the deck, is that right? Uh, yeah. I'll do that then. All right, whose turn? Uh, yeah, Don's done. I'm gonna swap my uh, my gondolier over again. Cover up this two coin cost, and I think. Sagan, did you get your point for me landing on you? I just want to make sure. I did. I did. Um, I think it's gonna be time for me to head to the minor council. So uh, again, I'll be uh, sending you up, and I will be putting an assistant out and getting an orange. Oh, this is a two player game. It looks like. <laughs> Sagan and I just keep interacting over here. I mean, well, it just seems like the uh, the strategy, man. I, I, I you're just right where I want to be, right, or right, vice right. versa. But yeah, that'll uh, that'll do it for me. I think it's going to be a one player game of of Don just just staying out of everyone's way and and popping out <laughs> a couple bridges and. <laughs> so after Sagan is is you, yeah. I keep looking for Sagan. And I see this strange name on there. So sorry. Well, I'm taking my turn. Louis, Steve has a question. How will the stack gondolas look? Well, I mean, yeah, if you uh, pop over to the Kickstarter, there's a, there's a, I think there's a picture right on the um, on the Kickstarter page. Or actually, I've got the I'll tell you what, I've got the rule book next to me. Um, if I just, I'll, I'll get up the uh, picture of how it looks. If you want to put my 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 camera on there. All right, so. Say it again. If you if you pop my camera on, I've just hold it held it up to the to the uh, to the, to the camera oh, in the rule book. Works. Are you up? Are you up? Are you? I don't up? think so. Are you up? I don't see. Uh, I don't see him. I don't see. No, you. Lewis oh, on my side. I have you on audio only. There, there, there we go. That's 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 two two gondolas, and there's like as you see, there's there's space for a gondolier on the bottom one, and all your little cargo in there as well. That is yeah. really cool. We put it. We put put a picture of it in the rule book because I, I knew that some people were going to read that and be like, "What? How? Why? <laughs> How does that work?" Yeah, that works. But it just it just changes changes the whole game. Having that, we um we played it at a, at a convention a couple times, and um before you just weren't able to share a space with someone else, and um mm -hmm. gosh, it just got so mean, and you could end the in the game with minus points and. Yeah, it was crazy. So, right. so if you, if you if you read the rule book and you think that's silly, I'm not going to do that. Then, then please, please follow the rule. 
All right, let me see. Yeah, no, I can I can definitely see how that's a literal game changer. No hyperbole there. Just because like I can see a lot of other designs just saying like, okay, well somebody's on this space, so you just can't go there. It's just blocked. Or somebody's on this space, so you have to pass by. You can't stop on the same space. Yeah, it just so, it, and it really it puts, you know, maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour onto the game because just cuz the amount of time just by chance, someone is in the building where you need to be delivering goods. So you're just kind of sailing around with, you know, with a boat full of <laughs> full of cargo you can't deliver, and it, um, yeah, it's 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 in there for very good reasons. All right, so it's my like turn. Don is. It looks like Don. It, well, it's not your turn. It's it's my turn after Don. And also, it I, looks I, like I, Don is going for. Uh, I never actually took a turn. New, so was new, new mission. Oh, 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 oh. Don, did you already take your turn? Yeah, Don went to uh, Actually, Don went to the square. Good. He was getting he was getting some new missions. Right, he was think, uh, ready to go. Did he did he pay his taxes? Is the important thing. This yeah, so like Don, made make, taxes. Uh, so. make sure you pay your two coins for your taxes. Three coins. That that's that, 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 that's the that's the wrong counter. I need to hide that over here somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't I notice that. That. Yeah, it was orange. It was in the. I was looking at that counter as well. <laughs> I did that during setup and um, confused myself. All right, so I'm finishing up my action. As soon as this, then you can go. Um, then you can go, uh, Sagan. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna get the the purple cube right there. Oh, I don't know if the game is is on is on the screen. It's on the stream. Oh shoot! Let's see, I was messing it up. Let's see. I was just admiring the logo. There we go. How's that? It's a nice logo. Much better. All right, and then I will gain a scroll and a point. Although the the logo makes me hungry, is that weird? It's no, not at all. <laughs> that not at none. All. I'll gain a point, and I will also get uh, cards and have to pay taxes for that. Correct? Yes. So if, I, if I have two cards in my hand, that'll that's a tax of two, or is it a tax of three? Because it's I'm getting a, third card. Tax tax of two. Yeah. It, it 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 always it always goes. You know, two, three, four, five, six. You know, that's just the. Why do I do the easy way and just press two? Simple, okay. simple way of expressing that rule. All right. So All right, it's, that was me. Don took his. Now it's your turn. Yep. All right. All right. I'm going. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's bridge building time. I think I telegraphed that uh, pretty obviously. So I'm going to take that free move there Whoops. and move this guy just in front of the major council. So that's going to move me up the major council track one and an additional one for everyone who has more influence than me, which is nobody. L so. less, in less intrigue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Less intrigue. Less there intrigue. We go. I said more. I meant less. Uh, but either way, we're all tied now. So that's nobody. Um, so that's moving me up one. And I am going to pay my four coins to put a bridge out. And I think my bridge just really needs to go... Oh, right here. Uh, I've got this beautiful corridor here, man. I'm, 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 I'm making it cheaper for you. You don't have to pay that two coins. Sure, you are. Sure, you are. All right. So I'm gonna go over here. My turn again. I'll come back to. Oh, come on, come on, there. Terrible, this thing. Come on, please, boat, stay, stay, boat, stay. <laughs> Your girl. There we go. Okay. So I'm. Um, I want to come. I got Where's the little blue thing? There we are. I am going to come to here. Do I have enough coins to do that? Yes. All right. And I will take my boat to here. I owe two coins for that. Mm -hmm. And you had a meeting with Sagan. Did, I was saying, did you meeting. just pass me up? I did. So since we had a meeting, the, the mechanic here is that you can either take an intrigue or pay a scroll to avoid that intrigue. You can't do that at the bridges, by the way. Only when we have the meetings with the boats. So, Sagan, what are you going to do? I am taking the intrigue. I am going to pay the scroll. Needs it for his politics. He does. He does. All right. So, I, I'm going to go back and do these two actions here. I, I was here. So, I get this free action, and then I'm going to be able to do this part here. So, mm -hmm. that is uh, moving up on the council track. I'm gaining an orange. Yeah. Lewis, if you could move me up real quick, and then I'll yeah, gain sure. an orange. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then I'll gain an orange. And then, oh, come on. All right, come on. Grab it. There we go. I've got a boatload of oranges if anybody needs them. 
some blood oranges, right, from Italy. And then there I will put uh, – you've traveled to Italy, right, uh, Louis? No, no. Oh, how <laughs> I'm glad that I give the impression of being 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 that culture there. <laughs> what? You had been there? Okay. Um, and that gets me the consulate, which will give me a purple cube. I think everyone who has worked on this project except for me has been for Venice. <laughs> I thought I read that you were a, a traveler all over Europe, so maybe not. Back and forth to Germany. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's true. BJ, those boats are looking pretty full. They are. They are, they are full. I think he's ready to drop his load. I might be ready. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I bringing down the tone? But he'll be here all night. Tip your service for Lewis there. All right. Um, yeah, it's your turn, Don. Oh, and, you know, it doesn't help say when you have the wrong colors though, on your boat. That doesn't really help. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't quite help. I, I, have, I have a plan, Sagan. I have a plan. But is it a good plan? We're going to see. Uh, only time will tell. Only time. Only time will tell. <laughs> Leaving now. Just going to neaten up Don. Yeah, there he is. Look at that. For, for, for the for the good of my own mental health. There we Bradley go. will play with us, but he'll come and watch the stream. Isn't that nice, Sagan? But it's better than nothing. I even wrote an intro for him. Oh man, terrible. Sagan <laughs> never <laughs> met him. Uh, nice, lovely. I I'm interested to hear that intro. You'll have to tell me later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All the way from the great state of Ohio, if it were located on I-10 next to the Chapalaya Swamp, he's undefeated in every game he's never lost. It's the king of unboxings, Bradley. Oh, that's great. And accurate. It is accurate. That but is I think that might have done it for Don's turn. All right, It'll so bring the action back to me. So uh, it is time to move my gondolier. Oop, that's my whole boat. We're going to go back this direction. And I think... I could really use a few scrolls, actually. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna U-turn this bad boy and uh, send them back to the monastery. So, uh, likewise, it's not pushing your assistant up because there's an open spot. Is that correct, Lewis? Correct. Yeah, you just you just go to the second spot. All right. So I move up and I'm getting two scrolls and another orange. Yeah, baby. Donna restarted I'm, your feed. I have no need for other colors. I did restart so I could hear you, but I don't know why you can't hear me. Oh, I hear oh, Don now. I can hear you now. Now what? you're working. Well, hot day. Welcome to the stream, Don. Hey. Yeah, I restarted yours and you restarted, and I think that's what uh, fixed the server burp. So Sweet. We are all back in. All right. Lewis, I saw that you guys also had trouble with another stream. The um, TTS has just been pounded. BJ, I mean, it's all you. Oh, it's my turn? Okay, sorry. It's all you. Yeah, Lots no, I, I didn't want to interrupt you, but... It was not a very. I didn't want to interrupt the gameplay. It was not a very good story. So, all right. So I'm gonna. Yeah, go. it's, that's just failing to live stream stuff. Yeah, it's the just, pictures it's just on the stuff. Kickstarter page, Lewis, for the um, the the latest sculpts of the gondolas. They look they look great. Thanks. Yeah, they're they're yeah. really good. They're they're uh, sculpted by a guy called uh, Andrew Forster, uh, who did our he did the coins and our little metal coin set as well, uh, which is lovely. lovely I'm stuff. coming to. Uh, Oh, I should do that. Yeah, no, I'm gonna uh, change my mind. I would say, I would say, are you coming underneath a bridge that I? No, own? no, no. I'm, I'm changing. But my why mind. not though? <laughs> I'm changing my mind. All right, so I've got it here. Look, it worked that time. Uh, this is the docks. Oh, and ooh, thank Don's you. Worker gets advanced. Don gets bumped up because I'm a nice Venetian. Uh, you know what it is? I couldn't see Don's there, so really, I'm a Venetian blind. <laughs> <laughs> How do I? All right, well, stream? guys, I'm I'm gonna go. So, uh... <laughs> where's the end stream button? <laughs> you know, you know, and that was the show. We'll see you later. Good night, everybody. <laughs> and sure, you try to deal. Just to verify, uh, this is what we were playing as last night. If we are already getting a free pass by going under our bridge, we don't still get the free skip another spot, right? Yeah, correct. You don't. You don't get the. Uh, don't carry that momentum. That's um, part of the sixty-eight percent I got right, Sagan. It's just it's just yep. you hammering it's just you hammering the dock and to, to push yourself off. You get that first free movement, but it just it doesn't doesn't carry over. Right. All Unless right. you maybe have like a system of ropes and pulleys and just pull yourself along. I don't know. Oh that would work. Yeah, that would work. 
Louis, the, the fun thing about this game is the more I play it, the more you learn the buildings and, and the mechanics. You know, in other words, once the mechanics kind of fade away and you're getting into the theme of the game, it's just so much fun. It really is. It's it's really fun. Like, there's a lot to learn. But what makes me laugh is just watching how uh, how people learn it at different rates. Because um, we, I've played like a lot of like five player games with people's uh, uh, conventions, and you get some people that in the last like 20, 15 minutes, they're like, okay, I think I get it now. And then there's some people who it just clicks and they just like, <laughs> they just, they just run away. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. it's really a few, if, if, if the kind of knowledge of the game kind of varies, if, if people aren't helping each other along a little bit sometimes, then it just, uh, you, you can get, can get run, runaway leaders on occasion. Oh, thank you. It it's a, a lot already. I'm bad at games, but it's a lot tougher to to run the stream and to play games. So that's the excuse I'm going with, Sagan. Okay. Sure, sure. Naturally. Whose turn is it? You still taking yours? Uh, I think John is still. Out, I'm just okay. trying to figure out what this minus spend a coin and get two of anything. Yep. Yep. Are they two not equal or just two of anything? Two two of anything. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we we had a question about this this tile the other the other night that was the, that had a, has an interesting answer, where um as you go around the building, obviously you get more more options that you can do, and you can do those options in any order as well. So you can, mm -hmm. you know, you you can get coins and and then spend them to get points on you know on, on the next action or do things in reverse if you fancy or you know, it, it, there's a lot of interesting combinations kind of built into them. All right, I think I am done. Sorry. For me, I'm going to head from the major council back to the storehouse and that is going to advance me here. And so I believe uh, this is to gain a, an orange cube and then the second action is to swap any cubes for any number of cubes, just mm -hmm. uh, one for one any colors you want. You can change change uh, the colors. But actually, I think that I'm good. You know what? No, I'll switch uh, the orange cube I just got for a purple. Actually, is uh, is the way I'm going to play this. Sure. So that'll go. Purple comes out, and then uh, yeah, I'm I'm golden. I've been creeping along the canals uh, <laughs> this game. I don't think I've made a double movement yet, so I've still got most of my starting cash. No, I I blocked myself in without cash. Unlike last night, where I was you know flush with cash and moving around all over the board, it's it's tough when you don't have cash in Venice. Venice is an expensive. Yeah. Town. Now <laughs> now I notice, I, I, and you know I think this is going to be good. I noticed that BJ, both turn? of your boats, yeah, it's your turn. Both okay. of your boats are down there in the same location, and uh, you don't have any money, so I can see an <laughs> optimal place to put a bridge right now. Mm, yeah, I'm just going very very slowly. Very slowly, not 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 very well. By the if way, you, if, I, if I, you want some if you want some quick cash, there's a there's a couple places or a couple of things you can do. You're a little bit far from St. Mark's Square to go and pick up some some two coins there, but you can um can always flip over your Doge's favorite card down here and in, in in, on the edge of the play area if you want to quickly grab five try coins. Try and save it just in case I get close, but I'll be so far back I might as well do that. But uh, at some point I may have to do that. So I'm I'm gonna do this here. Put this here. Trying to get to that spot there. You are trapped down there. I am a little trapped. Oh, now he's oh. very trapped down there. Come uh, to uh, here. So, to here. So, Lewis, supposing you have to go under a bridge uh, and can't pay a coin, are you allowed to go under that bridge? Or are you not? Oh allowed no! So, to, so, so going under. The, oh, going I'm sorry. Under the bridge I, I'm always, sorry. I get the free. bridge and he gets the the influence. That's it. Correct. Correct. I, yeah. I got to take an entry for going under the bridge. I have mm -hmm. to pay a coin here, but I flip my thing, so I have it. So I'm okay. going to go there, and then I get uh, started in this one. Another reason I like that first movement marker is that you can kind of remember where you are. So I know I got this mm -hmm. purple cube, so I'll take that. Yeah, and and, 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 and in, in, in the physical game, we like to pop the little coins down on the canal because then you can just, just trace your path around and not go back on yourself. I, I didn't know the answer to this, so I'm just going to ask you right out, Lewis. Can I just switch that orange for a purple cube? Yes, yeah. So yeah, anytime you would uh you know gain stuff but your gondola's full, you can just chuck it in the canal. So that's that's this one here. I don't get the action of the Doge's Palace. I took my intrigue. I'm over here. That is a purple cube. I don't really need it. And then I come to this one and I'm gonna bump this it's up to here. Bumping both of us up, right? Yep. Bumping both of you up, both of us up, and that gives me plus one on the intrigue track, correct? 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And four and coins. Four coins. So I was trying not to flip this thing, but I, I just I couldn't hold out anymore. So unfortunately, Don, it is your turn. The mint, the mint is great though. By the time you get to the to the last space of the mint, you get you're getting ten coins. <laughs> oh yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah. And I had that one where I was at that space, and then the other space where you spend coins to do stuff. So it was just zoom by, get lots of stuff. You know, so, when 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 I say this is a game about building combos, people kind of have a bit of a, bit of a blank stare sometimes. But yeah, there's just some amazing. Oh, this is combo. Amazing combos on offer. So bad news. Uh, and Don, it's your turn. Uh, yeah. S- Sagan, Bradley texted me at, at seven minutes prior and said, "Hey, I'm ready to jump in." I just didn't see. The oh text. no! Well, we were oh, having no. all that. So, so all that blaming Bradley, and it was you. <laughs> yes, but it's it's recorded for posterity. It'll always be his fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just terrible though because we were having the, the issues with the technical part, and that always mm-hmm. messed it up. So I wasn't checking my phone. You get a point, BJ. Oh, thank you. I'll take it. You're welcome. Uh, and did well no actually i guess you didn't get his and uh, see you second all right so i'm gonna move my gondolier over here i'm gonna take my little free movement marker this way and i'm gonna pass my own boat by and head around the corner to the major council here so i'm gonna have to take one coin for this spot yep uh, so Lewis, you can't stop your, uh, your two, uh, gondolas at the same location, correct? You can stop on other players, but you can't stop on your own. Correct. But when you, when you pass by, you can swap cubes between the two boats if you want to. You right. Can... And actually, um, that's one of the things I was wanting to do. I was going to uh, reorganize my, uh, my stock a little bit and send one of these orange cubes to this boat as I pass by and the purple cube to that boat as I pass by and leave right. it there no. for now. Uh, and in addition to, actually, I was going to, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to swap a little bit more. I was going to swap, uh, the orange cubes over here and these cubes over there, like bring that gray as well. So uh, a couple, th- I've got a big turn, uh, for, for right now. Uh, one, I am going to move up on the major council track because I've got, uh, one for free and I have more intrigue than Don's. So I'm actually moving up two spots on the Correct. major council track. Uh, secondly, I am going to build another bridge and, uh, BJ almost escaped, but, uh, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave my other boat probably, I'd, let's, let's just I'd, go I'd in the middle here. I'd say over here between the monastery and the, uh, mm, that is good... not, not, not that I'm helping, but you got, no, you got, sure. <laughs> you, got, you, got you got two assistants there and, and he's got, he's got two quite high up assistants oh, as well that's so, true uh, but i think i think what i i'm going to be running that route a lot so i think i'd like to have some meetings over there so i think i'll just bridge here bridge here and then uh, have a boat over here um okay and then also i'm gonna finish my oh i'm paying my four coins don't want to forget that and i'm also going to finish a contract uh this time a mission what? so i'm at the minor or the uh major council and i've got this card here so i'm paying two scrolls or is that adding two scrolls? Paying, paying it's costing two scrolls. me two. Okay, that's what I thought. So I'm paying two scrolls. I'm paying the three cubes, uh, one of each color from this boat, and I am uh, gaining eight points and five coins and a nifty ongoing effect. Nicely done, Sagan. Sagan, what do you do when you're flush with cash? When I'm flush with cash, I think I'm going to go uh, go on a little trip, uh, see how far mm-hmm. I can uh, go in the canals. You make it rain, Sagan. That's what you do. And watch this. I'm going to pay the three coins wow. and keep my boat right here. What a crazy concept here. He's amazing. I, I get this free one. I'll go to here. I do owe two more coins. So it is an expensive move here. Is this a good move? I don't know. But when I get there, and here's the trick. One of the players asked me, so yeah, we don't move up the orange just yet because we have to, if I want to play a mission, I've got to play the mission right away. Mm-hmm. So let me see. Yeah, I got to play the mission right away. And I'm going to complete the mission by dropping the church down. That's three and two, correct? Nice. Yep, that's so correct. It cost, it cost me some coins, but if Lewis will empty my boat for me, I'm going to add myself eight points. I will give myself six coins. That's not a bad trade. I started with eight, and now I've got nine. I'll take it. And then then Don will come back and finish out that turn because if I needed – the reason I say that because if I needed that gray cube 
to complete my mission, I don't get it until after I get to that stop. If you look at the little chart Lewis has, it says hand in the mission before you advance and activate your buildings. So I'll bump Don up to there and I'll get a gray cube back into my thing. A nice little piece of stone. That's how you play this game, Sagan. For All last right, place. Say so. <laughs> for last place. If you say so. All right. Hey, I am gunning for third place hard. I'm telling you. Uh, All right. You're working on a lovely combo, though. You, you, you're picking up coins and intrigue at the mint and then going to the church and maybe and, maybe you're losing some intrigue there. And and exactly. I'm going to bump that sucker up. Sure, I would stop there. Just free points back and forth. Yeah, I, I, I like that mint church and one other. The um, yeah, here it is. So the senate mint church combo is giving you in you know tons of intrigue, and then you're turning it in for points and tons of coins, right? If you're hitting those three as you just keep passing by. <laughs> nice. I don't have any bridges. I need to get some bridges going, but it's been clogged up in the middle of the board. Right, and I am done. Tragedy, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this heartbreaking. All right, I'm sending my gondolier back to the other boat, and uh, we're going to take our free movement uh, this way. I think I'm going to pass myself up. Whoops, here. And I'm passing by the library there, and I'm going to finish my turn at the mint, if I can turn my... So, uh, uh, Don, you're at the mint, that's correct? Woo! -hoo. So, you're going to get a point. Uh, it's going to cost me three coins total for this movement and that movement. So, I'll go ahead and do that before I forget. Right. And uh, at the mint, I'm going to be gaining... Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I passed uh, my assistant, so I'm getting a purple cube and a gray cube, I believe. And I'm also uh, getting eight coins. Oh, no, actually, I'm moving my assistant up. I almost forgot. So I'm getting uh, 10 coins and two intrigue and a point because I am maxed out. Yeah, I'm maxed out on the mint. Uh, so money, 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 10 money. coins, uh, two intrigue. And also, I'm going to finish my second mission. So... I'm delivering to the mint. That's five more coins and five more points. And uh, so, Lewis, do uh, do these ongoing effects actually uh, activate at the uh, as soon as you play them? Can I go ahead and use this ongoing effect? Um, I think it's from your next turn onwards. From the next turn onward. That's all no, right. Actually, so, let me let me double check that actually when I. Uh... Well, I'll go ahead and pay my scroll and my uh, two oranges and a purple from this boat. Why are y'all hanging out of the mint? Because that's where the money is. Man. You said Act like active from the time it's completed. So yeah, you can use it straight away. I oh, think God. I would like to do that because I can immediately pay three of my coins that I just gained to lose to intrigue. And that is worthwhile to me. So both, Bradley, both. There we and go. That, and that is a superstar turn there. Very nicely done, Sagan. All right. Oh, I am so tempted, but you guys are just blocking my way. Blocking my way. Mm. Need some coins or something? No, I've got. I'm flush with cash, man. I've got the cash. One, two. Oh, this would be a big, expensive move. The one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the three. I would literally spend all my money. Oh, oh, but it seems to be worth it, though. Okay, let's um. Oh, let's make it happen. All right, we're going to take this boat, and we're going to plop this down here. I'm going to run this whole canal all the way around to here. That's going to cost me one, two, three, four, five, six, nine coins. I literally hmm. don't know what I'm doing in this game, as you can tell. This is are, just such a dumb move. Are you but, sure you don't need more cash? But it's going to give me all these actions. So I'll get this action here can't read it there, Lewis. So that's plus one on the influence. Uh, yep. Plus one influence card. Uh, two scrolls. I'm going to keep both influence cards because I have a special action that says spend a scroll and keep both uh, cards. Oh, oh. Two. All right. <clears throat> then I take this, uh, this action here. What is the next one there? Can you read that? That's two scrolls. 
So it hey, scrolls. You know that, that scroll I just paid I actually made more money off of it. Okay. Mm. Then the third one is to get a nice little orange cube. Where am I? Over here. And then I'll come to this action. I get to move up on the minor council track, which I need to do. I'll also get another orange cube. Oh, it's a big move here, Sagan. Are you watching this? Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. And then I get a purple cube over here for passing up the consulate. Mm -hmm. It was just a quick visit, so that's all I get at the consulate. Come on. Come on, purple cube. And then I passed the docks, so I get another purple cube. Come on. And then I stop at the palace that gives me a plus one on the scroll. Well, I'm just flush with scrolls. Another point, which I'll take. That gives me a 10. Oh, can somebody reach my 10 there? Oh, I got it. Nope. There we go. And then I'm going to get um, two mission cards, right? Oh, no. I messed up. Oh, well. Too late. All right. Take your turn, Don. I can't get the mission cards because I don't have any cash. Oh. This wasn't as good mm. a turn as I thought. It felt mm. like a great turn. It felt like a great turn. I should have stopped. So I'll ask, well, you know what? I'll, I'll ask for the third time. Are you I'll, sure you don't need more cash? Yeah, I think you're right. I'm going to stop here. <laughs> I'll take the coin. I will bump this up, which bumps up him to here. I will get rid of the scroll that I thought I was so clever in getting. Where's my scrolls go? I will lose the point that I thought I was so wait, clever. Wait, wait. You're, you're, in, you're in this boat here, BJ? Yeah. That's Another. not the space that activates the docks, right? That's this space. Nope. Oh, he's right. Yep. Okay. Never mind. You could stop there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. So bump him back to there, bump him back to there, and it's Don's turn. Boy, that was just not as good a move Don, as I thought. Don went to the library, bumped up Sagan. Got a purple hey, cube. welcome and to the to library. All, All right. So, um, so here's a question for you. Uh, Oh no! I had a question and I forgot exactly what it was already. Oh well. Oh, um, it was uh, activating a building. So um, the the text on these uh, ongoing cards says after activating uh, the mint on on this mint card mm -hmm. is activating only stopping there or is activating no, when you when you when you pass by as well? Yeah. Great. That's what I thought. So I believe that I am going to uh, sail this direction that's going to pass up uh, Don and the Mint and this direction that's going to pass up, uh, stop at the Council of Ten. So I've got a meeting with Don uh, first, and that is going to be um, uh, one intrigue for me. I can't pay a scroll because I don't have any. But because I'm passing the Mint, I can pay three coins to lose two intrigue, and I would absolutely like to do that because I'm going to be gaining ten coins at the mint nice and two cool. additional intrigue and a gray cube. So let me just add that? up there <laughs> and uh, get my gray cube at the mint. I don't, uh, I also passed my own boat. So I think I'm going to go ahead and kick that orange cube to the next boat. And I'm going to put my worker out at the council of 10 to get myself another Ray cube. Don, just that'll be it for me. You also did your meeting. Yeah, I took an influence. Okay, good. One influence or two? Uh, one, one for our meeting. Okay. One influence. All right, so I'm going to come to here. Move this boat over to here. There's another influence for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So oh, that'll just give me a coin. Thank you. That gives me an intrigue. No, I don't give you a coin for that. Well, I get a coin. You went under my bridge, right? Right. I Unless get a coin. If, if, if you have a special power that says that. I thought if you went under my bridge, I got a coin. No, if you go under your bridge, you get a coin. If oh, I go under your bridge, I'm... I get an intrigue. Oh, no. Yeah. I did that twice. I'm two coins poorer. That's really oh, sad. Move them over. All right. And that gives me a purple cube. And that gives me a plus one on the intrigue and two scrolls. And that is my turn. All right, Don. Well. What you thinking, Don? Well, I have. 
have no money. So wherever I'm going, it's not far. Sagan has 23 coins so and, and a nice interest rate if you want. The the, the VIG is like uh, six points, right, Sagan? Mm. We can talk about three. Go here. And Jason. Oh, wow. We haven't seen Jason forever. I'm Jason, we didn't get to see you at Sobo. We didn't get to see you at Gen Con. How's it going on the North Shore, man? Moving to the Mint. Sagan, Jason's part of those Slido gam gamers, him and D Rock. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I believe the last time I played anything with Jason was uh, maybe it was maybe it was BGG Spring. Oh, yeah, like two years ago, maybe. I haven't seen Jason in a long time. We hung out a lot of Gen Con this past year. He made the big trip. Uh, to, well, not this year, of course. Last year, so we made the big trip. influence. Is that right? Or is that uh, yeah, that's an influence or intrigue. That's intrigue. Oh, okay. um, influence yeah, these plus, cards over here. Plus, plus two intrigue. For the mint, uh, you're getting a lot of money, but you're also getting intrigue. Also, you jumped on my boat, so I'm getting a point, right? Yep, that's what I said. We're talking over each other too much, and I get money because <laughs> I did money, honey. And I'm done. All right, uh, I think I am going to move this boat along, and it is time to get some more. Mission St. Mark Square. So I'm gaining two coins and two mission cards. Uh, and I'm also passing the Council of Ten, so I'm gaining a... Uh, but there, the uh, the two coins are actually going to just cancel out because I'm gaining two from that, but I'm losing two from going on that space. So just not going to do anything. And I'll get my two, uh, two mission cards. So Jason, we're out here at the UK Games Expo, Virtually Expo. We're playing Venice from Brain Crack Games. Lewis Whoops, I showed it to us. Somehow... I would say I somehow stole a uh, a mission from from uh, BJ's hand. Oh no! I just, I just no, I, I put it back. I just hey, randomly <laughs> I grabbed in that space and I stole something from your hand. All right, so my turn. All right. Uh, turn. Yes, your okay. turn. While I'm thinking about what mission I'm going to keep here, I'm going to go to here. All right, so uh, I can play an influence card, and I think I want to do that. I think I want to. How am I doing on coins here? I'm. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to bribe the counselors. That sounds like a, I mean, a, a healthy thing to do, right? A legitimate thing to do. Yeah, sure. So Almost I'm certainly. Gonna, I'm going to move up one space, but I'm going to move up another space because I'm going to pay. One, I'm going to gain one intrigue to move up an additional space. So I'll move up to there, and you can do that at the start of your turn. <clears throat> I don't remember uh, if they go on the bottom of the deck or not. I do what you remember or, or discard. Lewis, do you remember that? I think just a discard. Okay, so I'll just I'll just throw them over there then. Okay, and then I'll start my turn with uh, move my gondolier or pay three coins. Which one did I move him to? This this guy here? Yeah. Um, Light on mission cards. There's only move, move your man boot. Okay. So I need. Load. What's that? There's only three mission cards here. Don't we have more somewhere? No. Nope. We, oh, sorry. We take some out, which you and I didn't do because we were just running through the actions. Okay. You, you take them up. We by started with uh, thirteen, right? Correct. Yeah. Although there's some, yes. there's, there's one. One has been put back into this deck over here. Um, I should have been <laughs> in the bin. So there is, in fact, uh, four mission cards left. Yeah, I've 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 completed two, and I have one in my hand. And then uh, get an orange cube. Okay. Come on. Yeah, you, you take out a, a, a number of them according to how many players you're with, because this, this is uh, the mission cards are one sure. of your end game clocks. And BJ's got two in his hand and has completed one, so yeah, that's all thirteen accounted for. And I'm going to lose one entry because I bumped up this action. I also that's it. Okay, and that is my turn. Okay. How they? I'm, I'm going to track move there. Oh, sorry, you got to go, Lewis. Uh, well, I'm just, just going to disappear. Um, yeah, I'm just going to disappear and use the toilet quickly. One sec. Yeah, no problem. We're good. Yeah, Sagan, that was a three council track move that turn. Funny. I'm going to stay here. Spend, uh, are they Lyra that we're looking at? Three Lyra? They are Cajun mm -hmm. dollar. They're Cajun <laughs> dollar. Okay. We call them Piaz. Piaz. I'm going to go there <laughs> and down here and hang out with BJ. Hey, ah. 
Hi, BJ. Been a while, been a while since I got a point there. Thank you, Don. You're welcome. Now I am. Sagan, my goal was to score 10 points this game. Look at that. Already did it. No. Wow. No, I'm not. Sorry. Shite. That's the wrong thing to do. Never mind. Oh, I lose my point. Sorry. Sagan, my goal was to score 10 points in this game. Hey, it's something to look forward to. Sorry. Keep getting myself confused. Okay. Pay my money back. I'm telling you, Sagan, the, the, this game shines after the first play. Once you learn how the boats move and all the buildings and what they do, and you start mm -hmm. to see the combos, oh, it's just – and you don't spend nine coins in one turn because you're an idiot. I mean, I feel like spending nine coins in one turn is a slight investment, but it's not that bad. All right. I'm going to go past here, gain an intrigue, spend I two coins – and go to the consulate. Yeah, I might have to get down in that region. BJ's the only one who's been in that uh, that southern part of the board at all. I started there, and I need to get back to it because you know this is right money for me here. All right, so I'm delivering, which gives me. Hey, five victory points. And nice. five money. Plus this new handy dandy feature. And I'm back. Extra cube when you activate the consulate. That's nice. All right. All right. Now I'm going to move you up. Put a dude there. And get a perfect cube. Very nice, very nice. That's... You know, BJ, I think that I'm, I can feel myself falling into the trap that I always fall into. Oh, um, what is that? With, with, with games, and that is setting up for too long in combo games. I always, I, I, I don't pull the trigger fast enough. I just set up and set up and set up because I keep seeing the bigger combos on the horizon. Uh, I'm going to move my boat here past this one take the corner, pay a coin, and head to the market for the first time. So uh, that's minus one coin here, and I'm putting a worker out at the market for the first time. So that's bumping Don up, and I'm getting an orange coin, an orange coin, an orange cube in this boat. Well, Don's going to be happy with me because I'm going to move my gondola. Oh, let me see if I want to play that. Yeah. All right, so Lewis, if I play bid for contracts, which says I gain a market card, I still have to—I still owe taxes for that, or is that only when I hit the uh, squares? Um, I think you just, yeah, you just take it, I believe. All right, I'll do that. Was the bid bid for contracts? I'll just uh, double check the little rules. I'll just play it down just in case, and I'll wait. I'll wait to activate it until you tell me. If not, I'll I'll pull it back up. All right, so that'll I'll continue my turn. I'm going to move the gondolier from here. Yeah, you don't pay the taxes, but you still may only have um, three missions in your hand. And I only have two, so we're good with good with that one. All right. So I'm going to unfortunately cross over and have a nice little meeting. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to stay on the boat. I think I'm just going to do that. I'm going to stay on the boat. Okay. So uh, Don, you and I, I'm going to give you a free point. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so, and the reason I want to do that is I want to draw the card before I take this action, Lewis. So I can do that then, right? All right. Uh-huh. Because I want to look at that uh, mission card and see if it helps. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so I am going to, that is exactly what I needed then. I'm going to drop this purple cube and take a gray instead. That bumps me up also to here. Sagan, you do not bump up because we can have as many people as we want in this triangle right here. Right. Okay. Also, there's no, I mean, when you're already at the top, there's nowhere up to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I don't bump you back down to the start, you know? That so, would be very that, unfortunate. Would be very unfortunate, yep. But that does give me a total of 10 coins, a point, and two influence. Okay. Ooh. So I'm going to move two influence. 
Oh, I need some cash, so that works out perfect. All right, where's the church? I need to lose some of this influence. Ten coins. Church and is here. Don, your turn. I got the two influence, the ten coins, and a point. Okay, there's my ten. Yes, you did it. Right. Digits and points. <clears throat> I call that a success. We're broadcasting live out here from the UK Games Expo, the Virtually Expo 2020 coronavirus moved everything online. Courtesy of Brain Crack Games, we're out on Tabletop Simulator. They made available Venice, their Kickstarter project, which is actually you can get it um, after the project if you want to. Just take a look. Let me see. Steve O'Rourke highlighted in a thing, but let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, I mean, if you just search uh, Venice Kickstarter, you should uh, <clears throat> be able to find it. Oh, yeah, there. Steve's, Steve's posted the link again. You know. Green, you can check that out anytime. Uh, Venice Lewis has been uh, kind of our guide here through Venice. A special game for Don. Don didn't get to tell the story earlier, so after you take your uh, turn, Don, give us that story about your grandfather and the gondoliers. All right, I'm right. getting bumped up at the minor council. Are you? No, I think yeah. I might be. You get a victory point there. Uh, am I getting? I do. Oh yeah, you came meet me. Thank you. I'll, I'll take that. He jumped on you. <laughs> take that eleven. All right. To... And are we getting bumped up over here? Oh, I like it. You're not getting bumped up. Uh, you had a you had a space. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You're getting bumped up. You're moving up. I got bumped too, up. right? We learned uh, a few that's right. years ago through some ancestry.com uh, research that my grandmother did that. Uh, her great great grandfather uh, lived in Venice and had been a gondolier. So, as such, I'm always excited to see anything Venetian um, as far as uh, game wise. And hope, you know, I'm hoping that my only visit to Venice won't be just games. And uh, hopefully someday we can make it over there. But yeah. It was a uh, pretty, pretty cool uh, history lesson that we got. Very neat. Very neat. They're very cool. I had to jump on this Kickstarter immediately when I saw it. <laughs> Thank you. And that is my turn. All right. I think for me, I'm going to have to... Uh going to have to jump over here. And we are going to hit. Oh no! Everything exploded on my boat. Oh. A boat casualty. The ongoing. Yeah, doesn't it count happens. Time, right, Lewis. Sorry. Our ongoing features don't count when we complete the mission the first time. Uh, yeah, I mean they they can they can be used straight away. Um, it says that if I complete them. If if you complete a mission and then you activate the building, yeah, you can use the relevant. Um, Okay. Ability. Lewis, I have a bone to pick with you. Okay. So you start, y'all, uh, over at Brain Crack as part of the UK Games Expo, you have a, a big give giveaway with some of your games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So part of that is this crazy crossword puzzle involving uh, names of cities. And you blew up our, our board game gumbo group me because they were all trying to complete all the puzzles all day yesterday. <laughs> I'm trying to work and bing, 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 bing. And they're going through. Londinium and all these other clues, and we did have fun with it. That was a really cool, and I, I just posted to Bradley said they're currently running some giveaways in conjunction with the expo. I found the crossword particularly entertaining, so check out that crossword puzzle. Y'all get some reactions fun. from the puzzle. Yeah, that was good fun. We we uh, we we essentially made a a, reg a relatively straightforward crossword, but then took away uh, half of the. Um, the clues just left 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 question marks because because Ragusa, which is the first game in this trilogy, um, is now known as Dubrovnik. We did just a crossword of cities by another name, cities that have changed their names over their history. Um, so you can fill in the crossword with the clues for you know 
each of the cities, but then you have to figure out what is their uh, historic name or their new name um, to to finish the thing. So it's, it's quite challenging. We did have one. We did have one one couple messages to say that they spent six hours on it, Ooh, which, wow. was, which which was impressive. All right, uh, TJ. I think my turn is finished. You are good to go. I just have to pay my taxes, and that's the last bit I have. I'm uh, got got some new missions. Went to the to the Doge's palace. Interesting. All that's right, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna hire a spy if you don't mind, Sagan. Ooh. I mind actually. Please don't do that. I'm gonna hire this spy to come over to uh, which one do I want? This one right here. Okay. And then, since I'm flush with cash and I'm dumb, I'm gonna take that same kind of move. <laughs> oh crap! I cheated. I'll come to. Oh, that's the wrong thing. All right. So I'll. Let's see how dumb I can do this time. I will put this over to here. That moves the purple one. I'll take that action. Take this. And Lewis, tell the audience, what does the spy do? So the spy, you essentially, at the start of your turn, deploy it to one of the buildings that you, uh, in in theory, plan to visit. But um, you could be silly and just ignore it if you want to. Um, but then as you pass by that building, whether you've got an assistant there or not, you will do all of the available actions on that building. So by dropping it at the storehouse, which is where you've popped it, you can pick up some ceramics. You can swap any number of cubes in your boat as you as you pass it. So ones that are there as you know when you go past, not the ones at the end of your turn. Um, and you can get some coins and some victory points as well. That's exactly right. So... Uh, and this is the church that I've come to. So I've taken all of these actions here. Now I come over to the <clears throat> store storehouse, and I'll take all of those actions. I can't use the orange cube, but I can um, look over this. I mean, you, you can turn it into anything. So yeah, I have that other one. So I am going to do that. I need I need uh, two purples and an orange. So I'm going to convert this orange into a purple. Love that. And then what are the other actions? I get uh, three coins and two points. So I'll take it. I love the spy. This is such a cool, uh, cool mechanic. Sorry about that. All right. And then I now I've landed at the church. I already have the church here. So let's walk through the steps. I moved it. I resolved my meetings. I didn't have any. Hand in a mission. I have the church mission here. Which you is pay the, did you pay the cost for the uh, the the? I paid the two coins and I got them back as a three over here with this mm -hmm. action. So I did pay the two coins. And then I've got the, the church, which says I have to pay a scroll. I'm flush with scrolls. I'll get five coins and five points. Oh, I love the uh, the counters, man. I'm so glad you added those to them. And then that lets me give you two victory points if you lose at least two intrigue at the church. So I may want to do that in the future. Uh, and I also bump this to here, which gives, and that moves um, Don up to here, right? And that says I lose an intrigue, mm -hmm. and I gain a gray cube, which would be uh, useful because it's looking like you're going to get arrested, BJ, if you're not careful. I, I need to start working on that. So the church, somebody moved the church. That was me, and that's uh, two purples and an orange. I, I got a. I, I have yet to finish the game without being last in intrigue. So <laughs> that should be my goal this time. And that is my turn, Don. You're up. Yeah, I need to start hammering those um, intrigues. The mint is so, it's, you just want to go to the mint and get that injury. It's just so tempting. Yeah, it's so tempting. Mm. Oh, I mean, you're, yeah. ne you're neck and neck with Sagan. So if you can get to like the, I think it's the court where you can uh, accuse and uh, 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 the council of, oh, oh no, the, uh, the council of 10, right? Council Over of 10, here. you get points for people who have more intrigue, uh, more intrigue. Lose three. You. Oh. Yeah, and you can lose three the, on, on the third. And then go ahead the, and the court, uh, come visit the intrigue. council. If you uh, <laughs> if you go to the court, you can give intrigue to other people. So right, that's a nice come one. Come visit the council. So why, why why worry about getting your intrigue down when you can just give for the people more? That is true. That's true. And then because we're we're doing two player when you um hit eight if you need to take any more intrigue than that you just start just start hemorrhaging points so you know, oh that reminds me so that was one of the questions we had um because we don't have the full rule rule book we weren't clear none of us did this but if we were at eight 
and we took two intrigue. Will we take four victory points, or is it just two because you went past? Them? You lose. You lose two VP for every intrigue that you would gain. So yeah, you'd uh, lose. You'd lose lose four for if you were to gain two intrigue. Yeah. It is, especially if you've got like a lot of scrolls, for instance, and you just need to go and just get rid of those scrolls and just just do a couple loops passing by another person, pay it off every time, and. It's true. Catch them with their pants down. <clears throat> All right, so I need to find some ways of getting rid of some intrigue. Now, at the end of the game, you do have the option, if you're flush with cash and scrolls, to drop some of your intrigue, right? Yes. That is, um, I believe, two scrolls or four coins to lose one intrigue. But that's before you score for the money. So if you're kind of hoping to uh, get some points from that cash, then um, you've got to be careful kind of how much you spend because if you could just hit zero, you know, or, or, or make sure that you don't have the most, then you don't have to pay for all of your intrigue. Well, you know, now that I think about it, using the spy on the council would have been a sweet. It, I would have lost the bridge points, and that's why I skipped it. But I forgot about this part right here. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. All right, yeah, the spy mm -hmm. would have stuck everybody else. Sorry, Don just put his last worker out. Yeah, man. Oh, give give yourself an eight point bonus there. It is. We do it in game, is that right, Lewis? Not in so, the sorry. game. Uh, the eight point bonus for finishing out your assistance. We we've been doing it in game, not in. Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. In, in, in the game because it's only the first person to do it. Yeah. All, All right, right. Sagan, so where are you I going? think that's me. I am. Uh, look, where's my way? Oh, there's the wave. I don't want to pay any more than I have to. Uh, no, so I'm gonna go out, ahead. Sorry. Gonna go ahead and move. Hmm. Well, now that he's jumped ahead, I don't know if I want to. But at the same time, I think I'm going to need to stop by the storehouse for my plan to work out. So that's going to give me three coins and an orange cube and swapping. And I'm actually going to swap my entire inventory for purple. So it'll be the three that I had plus the one that I'm gaining. So that's going to be four total purples for me. Let's get an intrigue. Is that right? Uh, uh, no, because it's not a meeting, uh, because I'm stopping there, right? Okay, so you're on top of me, and I just get a point. Yeah, you're just getting your point. Thank you. And I'm getting my four purples. Take a nice, simple turn there. And, uh, that's that. Oh, and my three coins. I almost didn't get them. All right, my turn. I'm going to move this over. Let's see if I wanted to do that first. I think I am. Before I do that, I'm going to play this card here, Trade Information, which will let me get a free Influence card. When you gain an Influence card, you may pay... Oh, it doesn't help me there. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, so I, I miscalculated on that last swap. Do you guys mind if I keep one orange instead of getting all purples? And take care of that. Okay. Don't mind. And, thank you, thank you. I, I read the wrong mission card that I was trying to go for. <laughs> I'm going to give, I'm going to go to the bridge so I'll get yet another intrigue. But I will come to the council and I will put a uh, assistant there. Oh, are you bumping me up on the council? And I'm getting a gray cube. I think that's the one I need. Let's see. Welcome yep, to the I council. So I will switch out this and that is my turn. Yeah, I played that poorly. I could have put the two coins here, Sagan, and then mm -hmm. just gotten uh, just a little free action there. Oh, man, I missed that. Mm -hmm. That would have gotten rid of that entry. Oh, I missed it instead of going to the bridge. Oh, well. Yeah, my next turn, I'm about to show you guys why they call me the fastest gondolier in Venice. Yeah, so Bradley wants to know if you can resolve the buildings in any order. That's the fun part. You don't have to take the actions, and you can resolve them in any order you want. But yep. if any part of the – oh, wait, the buildings. 
So he's not referring to the triangles, Lewis. He's referring to the buildings that you cross over. I'm assuming you have to do one by one as you go across. I think he, he says you can. Can, can you, you resolve the, the buildings? You can in do the spaces. Yeah, so you, you can you can go back to front, or you know you, you can you can do as many order you want. But the important thing is, yeah, the timing of your turn. You, you're kind of doing it all in real time. So if you want to pick up something at the church and then drop it off for the next building, you have to do it in in that order. You have to travel in that order. His next question is not a question. He says, BJ, you gain an entry card, you get to draw two and keep one. How do I know the game better than you? That's because you didn't read my you didn't read my ongoing effect, Bradley. I've got this cool ongoing effect. So it's a it's an engine builder. You get to put three cards in your thing. And mine says when I draw two, I can pay a scroll to keep both of them. So that's why I'm not dumping off my other one. Thank you. All right. That's, I love the board. I love the fact that you can upgrade your board. And Lewis, the way we played last night, when you get more missions completed, you can choose to bump one of the three that are already there. Just put them face down on the side of the board, so it still counts towards your tax. Mm -hmm. But you can, you can, you can't really switch them out. You're just bumping one to uh, to face down. I'm. Uh, you're you're good, Don. I'm I'm up. Uh, and then I have to pay what one, two, three, four. What's the penalty? Uh, the tax is how many cards you have in your hand and completed total. So you got two on the board and whatever's in your hand you have to pay. So I have to pay four and I've got three. Uh-oh. Well, I guess I'll just put the card back and not take it at all. Lewis, what do we do in that situation? Is that just a flatly illegal move or do you just not get to keep a card? What's the... Uh... Yeah, you, you just can't You just can't gain a mission unless you've um, got the money for it. Yeah, that's what happened to me. I on... Fair enough. I needed this thing and the point. So make me doubt myself. I'm not played a full game of this. I mean, I, I mean, since you're obviously not getting the effect you wanted there, I'd be fine with you stopping one space back if you'd rather. Well, That's what I did. Um, I just I stopped one space back. If you want to do that, um, you can call shenanigans all you want, Bradley. That's what that's what engine builder is. <laughs> I just I really honestly I wanted the scroll. Oh, okay. Well. I'm good. In that case, you're good. All right. So I, this is why they call me the fastest paddler in, uh, fastest gondolier in all of Venice. So I'm going to actually move, oh, and I'm going to just all the way around the block. Wow, a lot of coins. Of is is where I'm flush. going. You're flush. Right. So this is free. I'm actually gaining a coin from the bridge there. Um, I'm paying that coin back out there. I'm paying two coins total, so I'm at uh, a total of two. I'm passing my own boat, so I'm actually going to pay my two coins now and stop for a second and uh, make sure that I'm getting my cargo uh, shifting correct, so I'm going to just pick up this orange cube. And then, and then you and Don have a meeting, so Don, you need boat. to decide what you And Don to and I have a meeting, so I'm going to be gaining an intrigue from my meeting with Don. Right. And then uh, moving on from there, I'm gaining another coin from my next bridge and paying it back out. I'm passing the mint, so I'm gaining 10 extra coins, two intrigue, and a point. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to... 10 extra coins, a point, and two intrigue. So I am near the top of the intrigue track. But as I pass the mint, I'm going to use my special card to pay three coins and lose that two intrigue. So no harm, no foul there. You and I have a meeting? Uh, and I'm stopping at the council. So you're actually getting a point. Oh, we got a point. I'm Very stopping, nice. Yeah, I'm stopping at the council here. Uh, and I am going to bump myself up. And I'm doing a couple things here. First, I'm going to uh, gain. And this is, uh, I get four points because I have two bridges out. And I gain an additional point for everyone who has more intrigue than me. Uh, I I or is it less? Than... I don't know how much you have. Yours has uh, disappeared. He has uh, the same amount, of, or one more than you. Okay, so that's five points for me. Why did mine keep falling off of there? And I'm going to finish a mission here at the Council of Ten. So Ooh. I'm getting rid of all of that cargo. And I'm going to gain eight more points and six more coins. Don, where was I on the intrigue? You were on at six. I think you were on six. Yeah. Okay. 
And I get this uh, ongoing effect. If I lose three or more intrigue on my turn, I get to gain two VPs. So wow. I did not lose wow. three or more intrigue on this turn, but uh, coming. <laughs> that's, that's coming later. That is an impressive turn, man. Impressive wow. turn. And like I said, fastest gondolier in, in the land. I just got to pay my cargo, but I am done. That is an impressive turn. I am going to uh, play a card. I will build a free bridge. I'm going to build it right here. I don't know where I want it. Oh, actually, right here would be nice. I'll build it right there. Okay. Because that's where I'm going. All right. And then I'll move my gondolier to here. I have a free action to here. I will cross over. all the way to here let's see i think i have enough coins to go all the way here okay so let me stop right there okay so that's a meeting with uh orange with sagan i'm gonna pay a scroll to do that because i don't want any more intrigue i don't uh, get any i think there. i'm gonna pay my only scroll right now <laughs> as well oh that's dangerous sagan that wasn't with you that was with me Oh, I'm sorry. That was, was it orange. My fault, my yeah, it was orange. Okay. Never mind. I will, I'll, I'll get my in, scroll gladly. I'll get an influence card. Of course, I get two of them instead of one. Um, I also get uh, what is this? One, two, three, four. I got to pay the four coins too. Let me do that while I'm there. Nope. One, two, three, four. Okay. So back to that. What is that square there? That is uh, two scrolls. So I'll get my scrolls back. And I get orange cube, which I need. Put orange cube in there. Then I come to this one, and I get the negative one on the intrigue, which I need. That also moves me up on the council track, keeping me a little ahead there. And I also get an orange scroll, uh, orange cube. I'll take that. Okay. Then I come to this one, and I'll bump this up to here, which gives me a victory point. I can't see the rest of it. Let's see, what does that say? Uh, negative one on the coins. Come on. Plus one on the intrigue. Oh, that's dangerous. Two more cards from the influence cards. What? But I have to pay two scrolls to, to keep those cards, so I'll two, pay the two scrolls. Uh, one... Victory point, which I already got, and one purple cube. Is my boat full? Nope. I'll take the purple cube. And that is my turn. All right. Wow. Okay. Wait. Consulate. Consulate. And, of course, I have the... Oh, my God. I have the wrong cube. Ah! I messed up. <laughs> I did it anyway. Okay. That's funny. Oh, I messed up. I thought I had the right color cubes. I'm one off. All right. My turn. Hey, Lewis just had to st step out. He's going to be hopefully coming back in, so we'll see him soon. All right. Steve says the gondola was more of a cigarette boat. Yeah, there was some shenanigans going on there. We're starting to get into the, the, the meat of the last part of the game where Sagan were putting together those big combos and big turns. All right. I'm, re so I'm really enjoying this. Pass the church. Going to gain a gray, gain a victory point. There's Lewis. He's back in. Lose two entry. I'm going to pay a coin and take an entry back to pass you. I get my coin back to go through here. So I gain an intrigue. You gain an intrigue, BJ. Yeah, we can hear you, Lewis. And I'm moving up. Okay. To, there we go. All right, there you go. All right, what'd you say, Don? Back. Uh, you gain an intrigue because I passed you. Oh, we we had a meeting. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna pay a scroll. Yeah, I can't take any more intrigue, man. I just can't take any more intrigue. 
Yeah, I'm back on it. Getting... Yeah. yeah, we can hear you, Louis. Yeah. I can't hear him. Oh, you can't hear Lewis? I was like, I said, e or, or do you I hear him again? Now I can. <laughs> oh, no, second. Okay. Can. Oh, yeah, there we go. And that's my turn. All, All right. right. Yeah, we are going to... Uh, I think we're just going to take a nice simple turn since my last one was so long. And uh, I am just going to... Oops. going to just pop by the Senate, I think. Uh, grab a... Oh, did somebody jump on my head at the Doge's Palace there? I did not get my point for that. I'm sure that you said it, and I didn't get it. Um, a long, long, long ago. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, I got a little distracted on my end. I'm going to stop by the Senate, so I'm gaining a coin for going under my own bridge, and I'm dropping a worker there to get a purple cube. And that's it. Keep a nice, simple turn. All right. I'm going to play Give Testimony. So, Lewis, if you could take care of that card for me. I need that to jump ahead of Sagan. So I'm going to go one, two, three down. Oh, that's why I keep moving my uh, part. It's this card that keeps flipping it out. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so what am I doing after that? you got to play the influence card at the start of the turn. So uh, where's my gondolier? Uh -huh. I could do that. Yeah, I've got the wrong color cube. That's what's going on. Oh, that's just not good. It's really sad, fortunate. Yes. Like sad and unfortunate all together. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it in your voice. So I'm going to have to move to this one and see if I can fix that. Okay. So run that way and get some coins back. Yeah, I think that might be the plan. Okay. So I will go this way, get an intrigue. I owe a coin. That one's free. I'm going to owe a coin here, here, to here. Okay. So let's see how that works. Uh, where, where where did I start? So you're gaining, you started the council, right? So you're gaining two intrigue non negotiable, and you're having two meetings. All right. But I lowered three them. meetings. Three meetings. Three meetings. Because he wow. was at the Doge's Palace as well. So you're meeting one, two, three. Wow. So that's five total intrigue gain unless you mitigate it with scrolls. Wait, I got to go up two? That's not cool. Yeah, and I have to go up one. Also not cool. Put this gray in here. Okay. So let's see if I get this right then. So that's three that I, uh, I owe three intrigue. Go three intrigue yeah. or or pay the scrolls. I'm gonna pay the scrolls. I'm gonna go down to one scroll. I can't take any more intrigue. Okay. Well, you do have to gain two because you're going under bridges. I, you can't yeah, mitigate bridge intrigue with scrolls, right? Okay. Okay. I did the first card I played was this one. Uh, Second. Oh right, right, right. right. Drop me down, and then I picked two back up. I I had to play that card on my hand. Okay. So now let's go through the actions. I owe one, two coins, right? Okay, and then. I've already taken care of my meetings. Okay, so where did I start? I started at the Council of Ten? You started at the Council of Ten, yes. Okay. So I get to do the Mint, which gives me um, more, intri <laughs> more intrigue. It gives you two more intrigue. I don't have to take them, though. I mean, I've, I've got a lot of cash. So I, I think I'm going to actually... God, man. Yeah, that Ten Dude. Coins is looking massive over there, man. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah, uh, man, I don't want any more intrigue at all. I got to get below you. What are you over there? Oh, man. All right. I th think I'm, oh, man. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'll, I'll take the 10 coins, the one point, and the two intrigue. Oh, just not too smart. Sagan could pay off any amount of intrigue at this point, though. I know. He's, he's flush, man. All right. And I also got to. So you, 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 you and Don are in trouble. I think we are. Yeah, I think we are. All right, then I come to the Senate. And again, do I want even more entry? I'm not sure about that. For two scrolls? No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So then I'll come to uh, the consulate, which gives me a purple cube, which I don't need. I'll, I'll um, get more influence cards, which I don't need. I'll just take the point. This is, this is a really poor turn. <laughs> Really not as what, as good as I thought it was going to be, and then I'm going to deliver to the 
what is that? Oh, where did I go to? Yeah. So, Lewis, the paying off intrigue with coins is that an only an end game thing? I can't do that uh, just whenever. Yeah, or no, that's I... um, that's at the end game. Just before you okay. score your coins, you can you can then you can pay to get rid of intrigue. Uh, okay, I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, otherwise, sure. I could man manipulate that uh, a little bit to my advantage. Useful, use, yeah, useful otherwise. Okay. I don't remember. Did I? Did I just move up my guy? No, I haven't moved him up yet. Right. Uh, no, you okay. have not. You were you were definitely there. Okay. So that gives me these actions here, which is uh, move up on the counts track. One more. That gives me negative one on the uh, intrigue, which I need. And then the last one is one point for every mission I've completed. And that's two more points. And that's my turn. What? One point for each one I've completed. Yep. All right, Don, you're up. Mm. That got me hedged in here a little bit. Don't like that. Well, you know what I need to do? Now, if we hit this... Uh, if we hit eight, Lewis, do we automatically lose those two points? It's above yes. eight, right? Yeah. So, so when you when you reach eight, that's your maximum. Anything more than that, you'd lose two points instead of okay. every entry you would All right. gain. All right. Well, I'm not going to worry about it so much. So this is Andre Novak, and this is David Turtsy. How would you find the game, uh, Lewis? Uh, there's a there's a funny story behind it. Um, so Andre is the original designer. He's the um, uh, better, better known as the kind of head of um, what was NSKN Games and now oh, Board sure. Dice. Um, yeah. So he's he's done a lot. But um, while David was uh, out there, I think in Poland working for NSKN. Um, Andres kind of said, "Hey, I've got this this cool idea for a board game, and I'm just kind of struggling with it a little bit. And it was originally set, I think, in in Rome or something. Um, and uh, David kind of took it away and 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 sort of turned it into Venice. And uh, they both sort of did 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 the, did the majority of the work from from that point on. Um, and then turned to Andre and said, "Oh, so are you, are you going to you know publish it as NSKN? And he went, oh, "No, no one's going to." Play that. No, no, no one's going to buy this. <laughs> Is that because uh, I think at that point it was like three to five players, and there was like lots of like take that in there, and he was just like, no, no one's going to, no one, no one in their right mind is going to publish this game. <laughs> so then um, uh, David took it to a number of other publishers and got told the same thing each time. You know, this is just, you know, just just the the the, the one liner description of this game. No one's going to want. So um, he kept sort of bring it around and then by the time it got to me he had like a list of 15 reasons why it had been rejected and he said oh before i pitch it let me tell you every, every reason why you don't want to sign it because <laughs> i've heard it all before I've heard it all um all right, and, I, and, and then i that was i was that desperate i said yes okay i'll take this game <laughs> um, all right yeah and Hi. um when we spent how, two years two years it? making it making it making oh. it not not, not, you know, too too mean and <laughs> making it something people didn't want to buy. So lots of development work. Now, the new one that uh, is going to be coming out next is going to be Florence, right? Mm -hmm. And that is a different designer, correct? Yes, that's that's the guy called Dean Morris. Um, he had his debut design out last year as um, Pacific Rails um, by Vesuvius Games, I think they're called. And um, boy, it's just a it's a, it's a good game. It, it, it's essentially an area control game. Um, where you the the areas that you're trying to control are different each round because essentially it's the night of a big carnival and the the sort of hot shots of the medici are going to different parties and you want your your workers to be kind of foremost at each party and be the most talked about and be first in the queue and be wearing nice clothes or whatever so it's a kind of mad scramble to try and flirt with the medici as much as you can um, are you bj me? Okay. All right. So I'm going to play a, um, another contract. Lewis, if you could clean that up for me. I'm going to play bid for contracts, which gives me a free... Um, okay, okay. Uh, what you does it got two, you got two cards there. You, you, you put uh, give test testimony down as well. I don't know if you meant to... I played that uh, previous round, yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. So I get a free mission card, correct? Yep. Okay. I'll take it. Is anyone left? <laughs> 
Oh, that's not the one I needed. Oh man. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you noticed on uh, on my turn, BJ. I, as I was going by, I literally dumped all my cargo from one boat into the empty boat, and I just kept sailing past. That's <laughs> just you can just toss it from one to the next, and then you're done. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. All right. So here's the decision. I gotta keep moving there up. Okay, I'm gonna go through here. Through here. Ah, oh, I didn't want to do this, but I, I gotta I gotta come over to here. All right. So is that a point for me? That is gonna be a point for you. Okay. So let's pay off my things. That's two coins that I owe. Oh, you know, I forgot to do something very important on my turn. Uh, as I was passing by, I was uh, getting my, my, my points for Intrigue. So I, I, oh, sorry. Paid, I had to pay two coins, Sagan, but I got the coin back from going under the bridge. I get to take all these actions here. So that is uh, getting a free influence card. I actually get two of them because... Um, isn't that right? I am doing that right, right, Lewis? What was that, sorry? Yeah, this one right here says plus one. Yeah. I get two though, correct? Or is it Yeah, you got two and you and you keep one. But I keep both of them because I just need to pay a scroll for that. Okay, sure. Oh, you know what? I'm only gonna take um I'm down to almost no scrolls. That's the problem. That is a problem. You might need them for your missions. I'm checking right now. All right. I'll take both of these uh influence cards. I will pay my scroll. All right. So that is that is this one here. I also get two scrolls back. I'll get a free orange cube, which we'll put in that boat. Yep. I don't get any actions here, but I do bump this one up to here. I'm landing on Don, so he got his uh, point. That gives me ability to lose two of my... Oh my God, it went off the board again. Why does it keep doing this? And I do need the gray gray cube, so I will take one of the purple cubes out and put a gray cube instead. And that is my turn. Oh, I do get one victory point. That's right. Okay, my turn. Uh, Lewis, I've got a little bit of a clarification for you. Um, so on the Council of Ten here, this uh, this bottom space, to me, the graphic design read as it's two points per bridge. Um, but I looked over here on the chat and it's or in the uh, the the uh, explanation and it says build a bridge or gain two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I think it's I think yeah, I think it, like I say, it's, it's you can build a bridge or you can gain two two okay. points, whereas there is a influence card that will allow you to build a bridge or give you two points for every bridge that you've already built. I, I see. I see. Yeah. Just, just the way that that looked, it's kind of similar to this, um, which mm. is a point per influenced high, people with a point per player with higher influence than you. And this one's the, uh, two points in, or build a bridge. So, um, I did, uh, I just went down four points because I think I've used that, uh, bridge feature twice to get four points each time, but okay. I should only gotten okay. two points each time. You, That's a good point. Do you build the bridge for free, or do you uh, still have to pay the coins? I think it's it says free. build a bridge, so yeah, I, you it was build it for free. I would think it's free, right? And Don, you're in the middle of your turn. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out uh, how's the spy work. Pick the building that you'd like to pass by and get all of the actions. Even if you don't have an assistant on it, you get all or as many of the actions as you want when you pass by that building. What if I stop at the building? Uh, Lewis? You, uh, I, I think it's only if you're passing. I don't have the uh, card to hand this one. There's a copy in this one. If I just, if you pass that building, you may perform, yeah, some or all of the actions on that building. So it's not when you stop there. Okay, fair enough. Um, la, 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 la. There is a purple cube over here. I don't know if someone discarded it by accident. And I'm going to do. I guess you can just get rid of it. Sure. This. It was probably from unloading my boat. I have a tendency to unload my boats and throw all the cubes over here to keep taking the rest of my turn. And then <laughs> during BJ's turn, I'll actually put them back in the bags in the bins. <laughs> but when I'm actually taking them off the boat, I just kind of throw them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Chuck them. All right. 
so remind me of this as well. You are not allowed to bring your boat back to the space that you were originally in. I know you're Correct. not allowed to cross your own path, but you're also not allowed to return to the dock that you just left. Well, you can you can pass the building that you um, that you started at, but you can't stop there. Right. So you have to end at a different building, but you can if you do if you sort of go around in a loop, you can um, visit that building again. It's just usually mm -hmm. very difficult. Um, sure. Sure. Uh, your turn, uh, Sigan. All right. Uh, I am you. You are you two are both at the church right here. That's correct. Yep. Correct. All right. I'm I'm gonna have to um, gonna have to. I Get cannot uh, go past you and take those intrigues. I'm gonna have to pay a little extra, but that's all right. So I'm gonna actually go this way, uh, past the market and to the storehouse. So I'm paying three coins, and uh, I'm going to finish my turn at the storehouse, which is gonna bump me up. Uh, I'm going to hand in a mission for the storehouse, which is uh, this one. So that's two purples and three grays, which is what I've got. And so I'll send these out of there. Uh, that's more. yep. That's eight points and uh, uh, six coins. Is that it? And also, I'm going to actually take the storehouse action, which is two more points, three more coins, and I can do some inventory swappage. So I'll just take the orange cube for now. Um, but I'll get my two points and my eight coins. Okay. I'm sorry, three coins, three coins. And that is it. All right. All right. So um, also, I finished this mission, but I don't have to add it to my ongoing effects, correct? I can keep my current ongoing effects? Yeah, you, you just need to flip it and put it sort of face down nearby so you know how many um, sure. missions you've done. I'm no going, problem. I'm going to build a bridge for free, my last bridge. I'm going to put it um, on top of my head. I'm thinking of that. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, where are people going to keep going? I'll put it right here then. Okay. And then I'm going to move my gondolier. to here. I'm going to take the free spot right there. Oh, come on. Go over to here. Land on that spot. Uh, yeah, land on that spot. And I'll take these two actions. <clears throat> so while I'm doing that, if uh, Don wants to go ahead and go, I do get a free coin out of that. So let's see the first part. First part is one point for each completed mission. That's two points. So I'll take my two points. Wow. Uh, lose an intrigue, which I need. Uh, move up on the council track. All with the council track. Need. Ugh. One orange, which I don't need. Come over here, don't need the orange. Get two scrolls, which I need. Look at him rushing down the council track. Two more influence cards. Oh, I love these influence cards. They haven't helped me win yet, though. <laughs> Two points and an orange cube I don't need. All right, and that's finishing up my turn. Okay. Sorry, I will go. But I'm not in lead in influence anymore, so I'm in intrigue. I mean, I are a spy. Is going to go right here. Okay. One, two, three. So that was three coins. And how many coins are on this mint? Ten? Ten if you take both intrigue. Oh, oh. <laughs> Should we rewind, rewind it? No, nope. we're good. No, I got it. It's just fine. I'll take both intrigue. All right. So plus two intrigue and plus ten. If you're at the top, are you at the top spot or are you just at the bottom spot here? But I used the spy, so it doesn't matter, does it? Oh, oh, I forgot you were using the spy. My fault. My fault. Yeah. So it's ten and a point. And a point. And two intrigue. And a gray cube. All right. And I am delivering. 
to the Senate. Oh, where'd it go? I think you put it in BJ's hand. <laughs> Now, do the orange and the do the different cubes actually are they meant to be something? Uh, right? Silver, silk, and ceramic. Okay, so I'm delivering some ceramics and some silk in my scroll. Five points. Five money. And wait, wait, wait. Silver, silk, and ceramics. The three S's. Assuming you take some spelling Eight, liberties. Points, <laughs> I'm a fan of I'm a fan of sibilance. Draw, mm -hmm. draw an influence card. And I think that's all I've got, right? Then all right. All so my gondolier is gonna be coming here. I'm taking my free movement here, and we are going to be making a little circuit around this way. So, look who's here, Sagan. It's Mick. It's never too early for gumbo, Mick. What's up? Good to see never you. Never too early. That's a good philosophy. Mick could start from our family plays plays games channel out there on Facebook. Awesome to see you. Five o'clock somewhere. Hey. Yes. All right. I'm just going to resolve these as I go, making sure that I'm not missing anything. So here is an orange cube and that's all here uh i'm paying two coins uh this next spot is uh so is this junction actually um this if i'm if i'm traveling this canal here is this uh a, a, a count as a dock for the storehouse yes yeah perfect so i'm gonna take the storehouse action which is two points three coins and some cubes i think i'll just leave them the way that they are i don't have anything uh specific that i'm going for and then I'm going to turn... Oh, there's a, a new bridge in my way. There is. Um, all right, well, I'm going to keep going this way. That's another coin paid, two oh. coins paid, uh, four coins paid, uh, the mar uh, the uh, the mint. Let me... Oh, no. I'll just <laughs> uh, pay my four coins while I'm thinking about it. The mint, I'm gaining two coins and a point. And I can use my special card to pay three coins to lose to Intrigue, which I absolutely will. Uh, and then I'm going to actually not take the additional Intrigue and coins. I'm going to take that Silver Cube, continue on, and stop at the Council of Ten. So lost that's going to be m minus three Intrigue for that. Um... Don, I don't and see uh, anymore. Oh, I'm, I, oh, I, I yeah. accidentally, oh, I accidentally right. moved Don's intrigue. <laughs> Minus three intrigue for me there. Uh, and I'm going to, after uh, losing three or more intrigue on your turn, I gain two VPs. I'm also going to get two VPs for my bridge and, or for that space. And I'm going to get, a, I think, two VPs for you guys having more intrigue than me. Yep. Oh. So. And uh, that gray cube and that gray cube, and that's my turn. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to... I keep getting this card, Louis. I'm going to play it again. I'll give testimony, and I'll drop the zero on the influence. Then I'm going to scoot over to the library. If I go this way, it's going to cost me some stuff. Huh? Yeah. I, don't, I think I'll just come straight to the library. Don't pay the two coins. I will deliver to the library. I need, uh, let's see, the library, right? Nope. That's not the library either. The library. So, Lewis, if you could clean that up for us there. That's uh, one scroll, a orange cube, a little ceramic, and some stone. Two stand. Oh no. Well, you want to take the um, mission card down here. Is this a, this other purple one yours as well? Yeah, it's it. 
I need to put one of those in there, right? Got to pay your taxes. You don't need to. Well, well, I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> why am I paying taxes? Uh, I know. I mean, when when you um, so you keep keep your cards all in one place, so you remember when you when you draw more. Yeah, but I, I have a spot for one of those. I can put one of those in there. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. So I'll do. Uh, let's see. I'll do this. I'll put that one there. All right. And this one goes face down right here, right? Oh no! Yeah, put it face down right there. Okay. Uh, what else do I have to do? Oh, uh, I get to put an assistant on, so that bumps everybody up here. That does give me five points and five gold. Or silver, I mean. And I get those two action. I mean, that one action, which is get a purple cube back. All right, and that is my turn. All right, Don, you're up. I got to put an assistant there. I forgot about putting the assistant on it. Let's do that. Got my nine, say oh, again. That's I would say that's big. You just uh, you just gained yourself five extra or four extra points. Yes, yes, yes. That's big. I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna matter. Uh, no, no. But I think I, I think I've locked up third place though. I don't think I'm gonna fall. I, <laughs> I uh... hey, I I hear four voices on the stream. So if I can get third place, that's a win, right? Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't see not? I don't see what could possibly be wrong with that. I, I'm kicking Lewis. I'm kicking his butt in this game. Yeah, I mean, you can see over <laughs> here, that's a solid zero. I've, I've been there the whole time. Lewis has zero points. Yeah, we can hear you. Don, what you got? Yeah, I had to get away from that intrigue. I want a chance in the game. Is that a... Uh, Don, you know Don if you have more... At the... Don's got a ton of intrigue, man. Yes, he does. Is that Don stopped at the uh, the major ca major council there that I'm seeing? Yeah, it is because he's building a bridge. Don's at the quick stop. He's grabbing some boudin and maybe even some council um, <laughs> council points <laughs> at council the quick point. stop. He's at the quick stop, man. Man, who's buying boudin at the quick stop? Yeah, Saturday morning, you're gonna grab a little boudin while you're playing some Venice. Come on, you're gonna go down to Venice, get some redfish, <laughs> get some boudin, got your pee. You know, these are not gondolas. These are P-Rogues. We're in our P-Rogues. We're paddling Look, around. This isn't, it's not the Jason Dinger version of it. He said it's that Venice. would be the Jason Dinger version of it. We're going to go down to Fouchon, and then we're going to pass over to Venice, and we're going we're gonna to paddle our P-Rogue around, give me some redfish. Bring our games and ounce New Orleans. Who's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Brain crack. We need a, we need a Louisiana-themed game. We need a little trilogy. <sighs> Just, just call it New Orleans. New Orleans. Have you been in New Orleans before? I haven't. No, but I've got, I've got, I've got, got a couple of friends out there. Mm. All right. I think, uh, I think uh, Don might be settled there. We lost a lot. At least I can't hear his audio anymore. I dream of the food, though. You don't hear Don? Say I don't again. hear Don anymore. Oh, I don't know what. I don't know what happened, but I don't hear Don anymore. Nobody. How about now? Oh, now, Don? now I just heard him. Yeah, for some reason, Don, uh, Don, you went out of the stream again. I don't know. What, I don't know what's going on over there. But spotty. Yeah. All um, right. What's going on? I'm gonna. Uh, Don, were you done? I didn't want to cut I you am, off. Your turn. All right. I'm gonna head here. You're at the major council, but I'm not gonna be stopping there. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to actually cut this way. So uh, we're going to have a meeting, Don. Uh, right. So. I'm going to go ahead and gain an intrigue Good. for that. And uh, I'm going to stop at the oh, pay my one coin and stop at the minor council. So the minor council, I'm going to actually not lose this intrigue. Uh, I'm going to get my cube and I'm going to gain a point on the track here. However, however, I have a card for the minor council, so I can pay a coin to advance two extra spaces if I'm not in the lead. Ooh. What? Making the big jump. I did that That's card. the idea. Nice I, I'm thing. fine letting you stay out in the yeah, in the in the, the front there. 
Is that your turn? Or just turn? That's it. No, that's it. That's it. Okay. Hey, BJ. Hey. Uh, where'd the Senate card go that was here? I needed to put it on my board. I forgot. I don't know. Uh, Lewis, did you see it go anywhere? That's the last one in the deck. I don't know where the Senate card is, though. Is it in? Uh, it might be in. Uh, oh, it was there. there. Right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> BJ claimed it as his own. Or rather, I just. Okay. It was oh, I tried. I definitely tried. All right, let me see. Which one of these I want to do? Nope, I don't want to do that one. Okay. I am going to. Yes. Where's my gondolier here? So I have to come to this one. On cubes and that one. Okay. <clears throat> that is this boat here. Yep. Where is the consulate again? That is here. Down here. here? Okay. Got it. I'm going to pay the three coins because I want to use that boat again. I'm going to. How are we doing on entry? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. All right. I will come down here. I'll pay the three coins first. Sorry. So that I can move this boat over to here. I'm down I get to the a, wire. I get a coin here. I pay two coins, so that's one coin. Uh, Blue and I, Sagan, you and I have a meeting. Oh, I went the wrong way. Blue and I, I'm a meeting. Uh, Sagan, I'll have take a meeting. that entry. I'm going to take a scroll. I'll lose a scroll. I get all of these actions here. And that is that is for every mission that I've completed, which is four, I'll get four points. I also get uh, lose an intrigue, oh, which I'm already at zero. Oh, you know what? I'll do the other way then. I'll keep the scroll and lose the intrigue. All right. Uh, move up on the council track one more time. Gain an orange cube, which I don't have room for. So now I'm over at the consulate. I'm going to deliver to the consulate with this card here. Lewis, if you could help uh, me with that card there, if you're available. Your huh? third place, man. Yep. Uh oh. So uh, just clear out that boat for me, if you don't mind, uh, Lewis. Oh, yeah. Yep. He's, he's surging back. That gives me eight points, right? Eight One, points. Two, yep. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. And how many coins is it? Six? He's Indeed. surging back. Oh, no. I don't think I owe a scroll for that one. Nope. Well, let me know if I did. All right. What, what, what to do? And then I've got um, get to activate it. So that's a point, right? Yep. Hmm. Point. And what's the other, what are the other actions? I can't see them from here. Let's see. Thank God. Okay. Pay a coin, pay an in, get an influence, and get another influence card. So I'll pay a coin, take my two influence cards, and I played this wrong. I was supposed to use the other card. What card did I play? Oh, it's too late now. Oh, dang it, Sagan. I had such a cool move. Mm. Oh, okay. And then I'll get a purple card back, and it is Don's turn. Oh, I messed Don's this up. Turn. So. I, I have the influence cards, and I have the card to bump myself up to the next level, and I forgot to play it. Oh, well. You, you know, I Good haven't drawn a single influence card this game. I think I've drawn 30. <laughs> I've I drawn think, nine. Um, BJ's drawn the rest of the bed. I think I am going to disappear and um, get some get some dinner sorted for the family. You guys are, aren't far off scoring, but the, the rule book's open there at the top of the table with all the mm -hmm. little, little scoring bits to remember. So... um. I say goodbye there, and you, you guys, you guys have fun. Yeah, thank you very much, Ooh, Lewis. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, this thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. We're gonna finish the game out though, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, we'll oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you later. All right, bye, guys. Look at this, Sagan. We got somebody checking in from Zachary, Louisiana. What's up, Rex? We're talking to someone from Zachary while at the U the UK Games Expo in London. It doesn't feel like London. The the, the temperature right now feels like Louisiana, though. Sagan. It certainly does not feel like London. It feels like Indiana. Feels like Indiana, <laughs> Louisiana. Really, Indiana. really quite unfortunate. All right, so uh, we're having a meeting. I'm going past. I lose two intrigue, but gain one back. And Rex, you listen to Don. We've got Don and Sagan. Uh, Don from Indiana, Sagan from Louisiana, and of course BJ from Gum Board Game Gumbo here. Thanks to Brain Crack Games, we're playing 
Venice, which you can check out at the Kickstarter page and still get a pre-order in if you want to because it should be delivering. Uh, and Lewis was kind enough to to walk us through some of the rules as we play. We're almost at the end game here. It's getting close. I, feel, yep. I can start to pay attention here. Very close, very close. Lose three intrigue and gain three victory points. I'm still moving, though. Sure. All right, Sagan, what do you think? Now that you've, now that you've played two full games, man. This is, this is I'm a really fan. Slick. I like it. I'm a fan. This I like it. Slick, man. Stop here. Oh, did we just, uh, he just forced another meeting there. I guess yeah. I'll uh, lose a scroll. With me or just with you? Just with me. Okay. All right. And, and he's oh. going to, he's going to mess up my turn. He's going to grab the last, uh, last card there. You're welcome. Oh, you got the mission card, the last one? Yeah, he got it. Yeah. All right. So that's that's gonna, what I was going to do. That's going to move this over to here. Yeah. Don is the second player, though. So you actually get another turn, Sagan. Then we're each going to take two full turns. Right. We'll start planning out those two full turns. Whose card is this, by the way? Where? Uh, that was mine. That was so this card? Yep. All right. I'll move that over. All right. Don, are you squared away? Um, I just had to pay my tax, so I've got four cards. Right. Good. All right, I'm done. So I think what I'm going to do, actually, is uh, I'm going to move... Oop, I didn't move my gondolier. Oh, it's the whole boat. No, no, not the whole boat. I just want the gondolier. All right. Uh, we are going to take my free move in this direction. And I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna head past the church. I'm gonna head underneath this bridge. That's gonna give me an intrigue. Uh, I'm gonna head uh, here. Take my storehouse action. So that's two points, and uh, I get to switch out some cargo. Which there are. I have no contract, so there's no point in taking any cargo from now on, right? There aren't any in-game cargo points that we know of. Mm -hmm. So I'm just not going to take cargo anymore because I have nowhere to deliver it. Uh, but I will take my coins. I'm going to actually head uh, around... Maybe if I go... I, I might go the long way to save myself some intrigue in the long run. That's only two. Actually, I'll just go... I'll blow right past the two of you here. Um, and finish my turn. Uh, oh wait, I started at the Council of Ten. I can't stop there, and my my way was blocked off by uh, by Lewis. Really? I'll go ahead and, and and sail past, and I'll finish here at the uh, port. So I've got to do a lot of things to get from there to there. So I'm getting two influence from meetings. Whoops, I'm sorry. I did not mean to rotate you there, DJ. I'm getting okay. uh, meetings with both of you there. So I've got to gain two influence from that. Uh, I've got to go uh, here, which I'm going to gain my coins and point from. I am going to gain another influence for going under this bridge to back through the council which I'm going to gain up to there. And I'm going to lose three and gain two more points from that. Um, additionally, I'm going to be paying, when I pass the mint, three coins to lose two intrigue. And I'm going to gain two additional victory points for losing three or more intrigue on a turn. And then I'm gaining another intrigue and having yet another meeting with Don, so I'm gaining two intrigue back. What? Yep. You're killing me. I'm, uh, yeah, well, you know, everybody's in my way. That's just how it goes. Um, so you, you spent money to lose intrigue at the Mint? Where's that? Don't you gain? Oh, I'm sorry. I moved your... Uh, uh, no, I have a card. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Uh, a, a bonus card, yeah. And actually, okay, I'm going to be... Uh, at this point, I'm going to be gaining one point at the council for having uh, less intrigue than uh, than Don. Okay. And I'm finishing my turn up there. Uh, that's going to bump you up. And uh, everybody at this stage... Is it everybody or is that everyone other than me gets an intrigue? Everybody other than you. Everybody other than me gets a bonus I think intrigue. it's everybody, right? It's everybody. 
Is I'm it? not sure. Let me check what this says. It does the the yeah, court is every design every suggests other player everyone. One entry. Yeah, it says every other player oh, on, the, on the really? line here. All right, yeah. so I gain one entry. So, right? so enjoy your intrigue. That's that my helps. turn. All right, so I'm gonna um, play this card here, which is going to move one of my assistants to the top. Right. Just want to make sure that's it. Yep, move one of my assistants to the top. So I'll place this right here. That is going to move this to here. So I would say we're moving. Yep. yep. And the one I want to move is this one all the way to the top. Welcome. Okay. Yep. Then I've placed my thing down here. I will come to this one. This one. Uh, so I will pay a scroll. And come to the church. Ah, I'm really scared that. of that entry. Don't do that. Oh uh, yeah. I, well, I've got a way to. Um. Oh, actually, no. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get him back. Huh. Let me get that scroll back and give me the intrigue. I'll take that. Okay. So where am I at? Um. So crossed here, here, here. So that's gonna bump that up because I'm not moving a thing up. All right. So I'll get all of these actions. That is. What does that give me? Ten. Ten coins. Two and intrigue. You're taking the two entry. Yep. Yeah, 10 coins. 10 coins. All right. 10 coins, two entry, one point, correct? What else? Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. Make great cube. And a cube. Okay. But I mean, not the, not unless you got really contracts. Good. I don't. Do you have any? Uh, uh, yeah. I don't have anything really good. All right. This one gives me the ability to lose three intrigue, right? So I'll drop one, two, three. Uh, yes, council of 10. I get two vic just two victory points per bridge. What did he tell us? Or is it just two, two victory, victory points, points total? It's just two victory okay. points. Okay. And then what does the third thing do? Did we figure that out? On the right side, it's, uh, it, it is a point for everyone who has less... No, more intrigue than you. More okay. intrigue than you. And you guys all have more intrigue than me, right? Uh, how many do you have? Two? Yes. Yeah. We both so have two. two more victory so points. Two points for you. All right. Then I come to the church, and I'm going to lose three intrigue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to gain three points, get a gray cube. And then I look at my chart here. Uh, when I lose two intrigue, which I did, I score two more victory points. And I don't think I've got a new scroll. So that is my turn. Not a great turn, but I'll take it. All right. I think you've had worse turns. I have definitely had worse turns. Yeah. There. And I'm going to pass um, the library. My kingdom for orange cubes. Taken. <laughs> my kingdom for orange cubes. <laughs> Two points. Pass the church. A third coin. No, I think I've probably passed the library about 10 times this game, and I haven't been doing it at all. <laughs> you know what I also messed up? And I, I, I'm going to go back and watch the video. When I came to this building and I thought it was a clever move, I was supposed to move the assistant up, and I would have yep. gotten that four, That would have gotten that four points. But, I, but I'm not positive. I may have moved the assistant. I don't want to do it. Right, I but, think it's just one of those things. One that, at a time. Uh, I'm getting confused, guys. I'm sorry. Sure, sure. No problem. Well, that's what I was just saying. I think... This is a game that'll lend itself a lot better to being on the table than on Tabletop Simulator. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Uh, you know, we're doing we're doing this angle so that we can see the uh, the spaces better. But as you can see, this game is going to look amazing when you play it. Look at that. Look at the 3D view. Pass With the bridges. You. I pass you, but I lose a... <laughs> With the a boats that are crashing over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I lose one, two... Three more entry. You're meeting uh, with BJ, so he's gaining an entry. Yeah, you're losing a scroll. Gained, is that correct? Yeah, losing three entries. The meeting, or he's landing on top of me. I'm I'm going past. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'll just spin the scroll then. One, two, three victory points. Um, I gain a coin. I, I hate going. Ship. I hate going first. I don't know if sh if Sagan has some shenanigans in that last round to pass me up. 
shenanigans. Yeah. To... Oh, I'm I've got points coming in every round. Yeah. I pass you. I'm going to lose a scroll. Uh, pay two money. What we got here? We've got. You both get an intrigue. I got mine. All right. And I get a, is it one or two? Uh, gain influence cards. Good. Uh, did you guys get your influence? I did, yeah. Do I owe influence? Yep. Intrigue. Intrigue? Yeah, I, he, I think, he, I yeah, he. Sure. Oh, well, he was giving it to us with the court. Oh, then I, then I get uh, one. Okay. Thank pass you. the yeah. market and finish at the storehouse. Oh, I need to get rid of this card, though, if you don't mind. coins. Yeah, get it out of there. Get that out of there. So there are multiples of the cards. That's why I got those cards twice. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really wondering what the uh, the other goal cards were, the other mission cards were, because you know we only played with 13 for the three-player game. How many are there total? Do you know? 20-something? 20 20-something? 20 yeah, so I mean, that's a lot of variety. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the buildings are in a different place every time, so it makes the... Sure. The mixed little strategy. If the mint and the senate and the library and the church are in different spots, you know, instead of being next to each other like they were in this game. Oh, oh we're out. We're out of influence cards. Is that what I'm seeing? Uh, I have, looks like right. I have like five right now. All right, then I'm going to. So I completed this. I'm delivering. No, I didn't deliver it. This is gonna be a close a finish. Bitch. It's going to be close. Sorry. No, I'm not finishing. That's not the ship I was supposed to use. Well, there's still one more turn after. Oh, wait. I passed my ship, right? You did. So I yeah. could. Yeah, you can yeah, swap. You, you can give yourself whatever you want there. Oh, thank God. Sorry I swear, swore at UK Games Expo. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't think they... I think they're okay with it. Those. You've got the gumbo logo right over your shoulder now, second. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, wait, it's on uh, this side. Play my bride counselor's card to move up one. And See, BJ, the whole name Intrigue Cards, uh, I know you love Intrigue Cards. Meanwhile, um, it's not as intriguing if I know what's on them. That's why I didn't pick one up this game. So you just, uh, just okay. love the mystery. got to embrace it. Got to. I do like, I, you know, it hasn't been a winning strategy yet, but I do like playing all these Intrigue Cards. And by mm -hmm. the way, Sagan, my goal was, if you look at the console over here, my goal was to just, I, I had this engine where I, I always had four cards. So I was supposed mm -hmm. to go the consulate and hit it hard two or three times but i keep forgetting sure all right i'm done <laughs> i have these plans and then i had that plan to do the senate library church thing and i, and I messed that up too so it's true that your strategy doesn't work if you don't actually use your strategy that is well, you, that is accurate you said, early, you said early sometimes you put together these combos and at some point you have to run that engine you know yep you, you can't just all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna cut through the canal right here uh, and go, um, I'm passing the library, which I'm maxed out on. Like I said, I think I've passed the library 10 times and just haven't done it at all. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gaining four scrolls. You, you don't oh, want that's some? Not mine. What? Why aren't you taking I just forget. Out? Oh, okay. I just, yeah. for, I just forget. I would, I would have used those scrolls a ton of times already. I, I'm getting, uh, four scrolls and I'm losing two intrigue for that. Uh, I'm going to be passing the mint where I'm gaining two intrigue and 10 coins and a point. So let me just math that up there. 10 coins, a point. Now we can choose not to take right? And two not intrigue. To you don't have to use an action, but you no. have to dodge the whole action. So I would rather have the coins though, because I'm coming to the council. In other words, if I'm you're going where Sagan is, if he's maxed out on a building, Don, you can take three out of the four actions. But if you take one of those triangles, 
You have to do everything on the triangle. Okay. True. Uh, and I'm going to be paying three. Uh, I'm going to, or I'm not paying, I'm losing three intrigue. And then I'm gaining two points here and I'm gaining one point there. So that's three more points for me. Um, and I think it's a good place to stop. And when we're going into the final, final round. Yeah, let me let me think this through then. Don't want that. Don't want that. Okay. So I could do that, and that would give me give me that. Give me five points there. I'm trying to think of some decent point. So are you going to pass me up? Can you get to four points in one round? I don't think so. But you you're could. asking me? Yeah. Oh no, wait. You're how much do you have? I'll I have sixty four. Um, no, where are and you I'll tell you. Oh, on the council track. Uh, yeah, I was uh, right there. Can on, either you uh, or Don six. get to four or not? That's the question. What? That is the. That question. is a question. That is the question. That is a question. That's the question. All right, so I could go here, here, to here, here to here. I can do that. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do then. All right. Here's my plan. I'm going to promote one of my assistants. Okay. So I'll bump this up to here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to grab this little boat here. Okay. I'm going to use my thing here. I'll go here to get the library. Sure. Here, pay the coin. Yep. Here, pay another coin. coin. Here, pay two more coins. So you're at four total coins. Four total coins. I Actually, assume I you're pass passing yeah. the console. I might as well just stop here then. Yeah, I'll just stop here. I, okay. I don't see any so, other good points here. That's, that's two coin payment. Yeah. And Did you're you getting two points. Uh, two I coin? will. No, I'll do it. Okay. And two well, coins and four points. Right. Uh, your four four points from the minor council top spot. Yep, I did that, and then I move up a space on the on the council track. I get an orange cube. I don't think it really matters, and I lose an intrigue, which helps me out there. Just in case, I'll just throw an orange cube on there. Finishing the game at zero. Let's see. Go to there. To there. Did I pass? The, did I pass this one up or not? No, you didn't go that way. No, I need to do that. Okay, so oh, oh, what, you were oh, you were coming this way. This I way, understand. This way, I understand. So I, I understand. That's that's the coin, and that is I owe a um, scroll for that. Okay, then I get this action here. What do I get here on this action? So I'm going to get because that's why I bumped it up. I see. I see. <clears throat> that's going to be five more points. I think so. Yeah, and an in. Well, one, you don't have to take that entry. Five points. One. Five why don't points. I take the entry? But you don't have to take this action. It's this this rightmost space is what I'm saying. Oh, I don't need that one. Yeah, you're right. So I'll just take yeah, the yeah. five points. Okay. And a purple cube. Oh, let's do it. Come on. I'm trying to do it. Come on. It won't go up the other 65. Oh, there we are. And it's your turn. Don, you're up. All right. Last turn, Don. This I'm is not, it. Uh, a whole kitten caboodle. Well, then. Hmm. Sagan, I think we might be giving you a game here. I mean, it's close, maybe, you think? I'm not close. I'm just trying I'm I'm not I haven't done the math, but uh, I think I'm in exactly the spot I need to be to beat you. Because I'm gonna double up on the major council. I'm gonna get 24 points there. Why are you getting 24 points? Why? On a because I'm a, I'm le I'm in the lead in the major council. That's 12 points. Sure. Yeah. I also placed nine of my workers out. Right. That just means you get that number of points. It doesn't mean you double your, like yeah. you're at rank 10. So you're getting 10 points. Oh, if you were okay. here. You'd be 11 points. That's oh. the way that scoring works. I oh, believe. That's different than what we thought. We, and we uh, thought that's it was, the way I read it. I could be wrong. Well, hey, Don, take your turn. I'm going to go take a look at it. So we read it wrong last night. I, oh, I wish he was here. We could check that out. Okay. So 
score that score assistance everyone who plays seven or eight gets scores vp equal to half of their ma major council oh track value we thought the track yeah. value was this yeah it's it's your location on the track so every time you rank up that's just an extra point if you've got all your assistants out or nine of your assistants out oh okay so when we so you, with... you're still getting 22 because you're getting 10 plus your 12. oops yeah but when we played with evan um Wait, didn't you play with Evan? Me, you, and Evan? Sagan? Did we play a whole game? I did not. This is my first full game. I only played with you and Lewis. Uh, we're having a meeting, Sagan. Uh, I'll scroll that. All right. Then, uh, well, I'm glad we figured that out. So, well, so it is good that I moved up on the track then. That gives me an extra point there. So, that's the church. Yeah, I'll get 22 points then. Uh, you think, but I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. You're going to pass me up? Oh, dang it, Sagan. <laughs> you forgot I had my special uh, minor council card or major council card. Well, then I would have been better off going all the way to here. And that's what I was debating. I'd, I, I would have still been able to pass you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gain six spaces on the major council this turn. But I would have been one more up. So that would have been one, two, three, four. Five. You got me. You're going to get six spaces in one turn? I am. How are you pulling that off? Which card is it? So I've got my major council card, and it lets me move up two additional spaces every time I advance if I pay a coin. So I'm going to pop the minor council and advance and gain three, and then I'm going to be right behind you, and then I'm going to pop the major council and advance. But you only get to do that once, though. I, uh, it's an ongoing effect. It doesn't say once yeah. per turn or anything. After advancing on the council track, if you're not in the lead, you may pay one coin to advance two spaces. So you can't pay four right. coins to advance eight spaces. Yeah, I'm I'm activating okay. two different council advancements here and oh, here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. That is a pr that is pretty powerful. The how do you council. how do you do the major oh, because you have a card. Yeah, he's got a nice yeah, card. Yeah, I've got I've got the, the bonus card here. Sweetly done. Oh, that's gonna really cost me some points then. Because that'll drop me down to uh what do I get there? That'll drop me down. To All right, six. I'm down. Um, you get a victory point. Please. Who's that? Me? Okay. Yeah. That All might right. be the victory I point I need. That I need to get up on the council. It's going to cause you a victory point, but I'm going to get past, and yeah, it's going to not work. Oh, well. Sagan, let's see if you can pull it off. I want to see it. Let's see. All right. Better. So we, yeah, let's let's see here. Um, where's my free movement? All right. So I'm going to move this boat. Uh, past here, uh, which is going to do nothing for me. Past here, that's going to give me two points because um, I'm moving past the storehouse and I'm going to pay two coins. I'm just going to do it as I go. Plus two, minus two. Um, and three coins, actually, from the storehouse. So I'll add that back in. I'm going to have a meeting here with uh, with Don. So that's going to be a scroll for me. I'm going to uh, go here. That's an extra coin. I'm going to uh, get a couple of scrolls from the monastery. So that'll be uh, a nice little bit of insurance because I'm going to come underneath this bridge and scroll it, right? Um, and I'm going to jump on the minor council here where everybody is. So, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm just making sure I can see what's there. So I'm having a meeting with both of you now, which is plus two intrigue. Or for me, but I'm scrolling it, and each of you needs to go up and intrigue or pay a scroll. Uh, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna actually lose an intrigue with uh, that <laughs> minor council board, and I'm gonna go up. Say again, and look pay a coin to go are. one, two. Look where my scrolls. Your scrolls. Are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how many? Does anybody know how many scrolls I had? Oh my god! I have no idea. I'm sorry. I think I have um, so I'm paying a coin to boost three points on this track. And then I'm continuing sailing to finish at the major council. Um, so that's minus one more coin. And uh, I'm boosting plus one on the uh, major council track, plus an additional one for everyone who has more intrigue than me. I currently have zero. So I'm going up at least two. And, I was um, and so zero. actually... I was at zero oh, you were started. Oh right, and then I uh, I blew by you. So uh, actually, I don't get to use my 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 
my card now because I'm ahead of you. Um, so I don't get to, to boost it more. Ooh. But I am still I am still ahead of you. But so, you're ahead of me. And there's nothing I can do about it now. Yeah. Right. And that's where I'm finishing. So uh, I dropped a lot of cargo in the river here, but I was just, you know, zooming on by. And I think that is final scoring time now. All right. So let's um, get that book out there, Sagan. <clears throat> all right. Final scoring. So in order, we're scoring the major council. Players earn the rewards list at the bottom of the track. Uh, and players score the average. Uh, uh, if tied, nobody's tied, so it doesn't matter. Um, I also, get six, and you get 12, correct? 12, yeah. Would you uh, bump me up? Yep. One, while two, I'm reading the book. Four, five, six for me, and you are blue. <clears throat> yep. So that's 12. One, two. One, two, three. Do I get my points four, before I five, get arrested or no? Seven, uh, well, you can pay coins to avoid being arrested. Yeah, you so. might not be arrested, so go ahead and get your points. Yeah. So uh, assistance influence. So uh, your position on the major council track, you score your points. We got not. We all got nine assistants out, right? I have. 10. He has ten. So, but it doesn't. Yeah. Matter. Well, it's nine, nine or more. Nine or more. So uh, I'm going to get a bonus eleven points. I'll I'm get, get my 10, own. Two, three, uh, four. What's the bonus five, based on? Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Your position on this track. You're so getting seven. Okay, you're getting sorry. seven points. Yeah. All right, then uh, reduce intrigue. You can spend scrolls and coins to reduce intrigue. I am not. So uh, two kind scrolls of. reduces one, and uh, um, <laughs> four coins reduces one. So I'm already at zero. BJ's at zero. Uh, you need to pay eight coins to make sure you're not arrested. And if can you pay the eight coins, Don? I cannot. Don is arrested. Really sad. He can, he can pay. Oh, he didn't have any scrolls either. Yeah, he can't get lower than us. I didn't get it. I hardly got any scrolls in this game. Okay. Oh, so Don, oh. Don, at this point, it was fun, but uh, <laughs> we're wa we're watching him in the boat slowly fading away in, <laughs> in the shackles right now. Don. We're making a making a the making a, 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 a traffic jam. Fence. Everybody's happy except for Shylock. I'm a, I'm assuming though, Sagan, you and I, we're we're <clears throat> in the shadows going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Well, it, it, it kind of was my fault because he was at zero and I passed him twice. Right. Okay. Um, measure wealth. So every four coins you have is a point. So I have 46 coins. That's 11 more points for me, bringing me up to an even Ooh. 100. I have 35. So that's an extra 30 more points for me. That'll bring me um, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's hold eight, on. Points, eight, eight points. Eight points for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Doge's favor. You flipped your card. I didn't, so I'm getting four bonus points for that. Please tell me I didn't lose for that. Okay, good, because I was wait. worried about it. No. Wait, 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 wait. Could <clears throat> I have flipped it and not got arrested? Oh, oh yeah, you could have. Yeah, that's, that's a good point, because it says you can do it yeah. any time. I didn't even think about that. So, yeah, yeah consider fun. yourself uh, free on bail. I, mean, back I, get, in. I don't get any more points, but... Right. And then the player with the most intrigue is arrested, and that's it. That's it. Oh, it was close. That's all the scoring. Hey, Sagan, I made so, a game. It was close there, uh, man. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, Don would have also scored his uh, his wealth that he had left over. Oh wait, I guess he had just enough to avoid. Points. Okay. So, Sagan, without that last yeah. move, you made a that's a six point swing in your favor and my favor. Nice. Which have been close, and you also mm -hmm. boosted up. Your points on the council track, so I mean, yep. I, you got about a ten point swing on that last one. To, to zoom I was, back. I was trying. I would have been in ninety seven, and you would have been closer to uh, ninety four. Yep, I was. I was waiting. At, like I got this major council card the first draw, and I was like, I'm just going to hang about the middle of the pack, about three or four spaces behind whoever's in the lead, and then try to zoom past them on the council oh, track at the brilliant. end of the game. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. All right, before we close out, Don, what do you think? Final thoughts. Great game. Fun game. Um, I made the mistake early thinking that I had enough workers for every building. So I didn't go to the Senate or the Council of Ten because I thought I'd get there somewhere, sometime. Mm. And I kept, I, I was doing like um, Sagan said earlier, I was trying to plan too far ahead, but not counting that there's more buildings than I have people. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I really enjoy the game. Um, 
I, I think this is one of those where the more players, the better. I mean, you get to that three and four player count and you've got boats all over the place. I mean, I'm really having to think about that. Sagan, final thoughts. What you got? I really like this one. Um, you know, I, 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 I loved Ragusa when we were playing Ragusa. I like this one as well. Um, like just the spatial aspect of it is really nice. Um, I love this little mint and council of 10 combo. Cause I just, I don't know how many times I made this little loop, this mint we council did. of 10 loop right here. Um, and I can see how variable it is. Like that's a big, uh, big, interesting thing. Like you won't play two games of this that feel the same. I, I think. No, I, you know, after the first four or five rounds, you and I never worried about money because we just hit that mint and council 10. And, mm -hmm. and I think, God, I think that's where you ran into a little bit of trouble with not yeah, having money. I, had you hit that planning, southern border like we did? Yeah, I kept planning yep. to go to those two buildings, but there are times where I was up at eight on uh, intrigue, mm -hmm. so I didn't want to start losing points by going by and getting money. So I, it, I passed the mint twice without taking anything. It took some investment to because both Sagan and I had to build our guys all the way to the top, mm -hmm. but it was worth it. I mean, that that yeah. was a having them right next door to each other was a big count, big uh, combo there. So it just made sense, which of course is yeah. why all the bridge ended up there because we knew, <laughs> like I had to do all these machinations, go all the way around, so I wouldn't hit that bridge. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yep. For the record, Lewis was right with this bridge. He advised me to put this bridge somewhere else, which, which um, and this out? this one right in the middle of the board, it didn't do anything for me. <laughs> Well, it affected me because I really wanted to use this little right side of the board here, uh, and I mm -hmm. had to keep going up and over instead. So yeah. I ended up not really using – in fact, look, I never upgraded the docks at all because I just couldn't get out there with that bridge, you know? Yeah. So I, I was always moving moving around. I, Don and I also took a bad turn where we, we couldn't get mission cards that we probably needed. So mm -hmm. that was kind of a turn for us. Yeah, that was a definitely a swing point. Yeah, that, that hurt. All right. Uh, well, of course, I want to thank Lewis and Emily from Brain Crack Games. You can still get Venice if you want to by checking out the Kickstarter page and also keep your eye out for Florence. That's going to be coming out soon. Uh, I'm going to send you guys down into the green room and then close out the show. Uh, Sagan, how can people get in touch with you if, if they want to find you? Uh, yeah, if you need to get in touch with me, just ask BJ. Yep, Southern Board Game <laughs> Fest. Take I was a say, Southern Board, yeah, <laughs> Southern board Game your, Fest uh, online. I, I know, man. I'm just messing. Uh, Southern Board Game Fest Online is uh, coming up. It's going to be a uh, blast, especially for the the people in this area who were, you know, unfortunately with the con scene uh, the way it is, we had to to uh, make some changes. But uh, it's still going to be a fun event. We're looking forward to it. So uh, check out Southern Board Game Fest feeds uh, soon for that info. Hey, some big news, Sagan. We got Bro Board Game Brothers. We got uh, Weird Giraffe. We've mm -hmm. got. Uh, Oddfather himself is going to be playing uh, Not Alone with people. Yep. So it's going to be a fun yeah. time. Come out. Going to have some panels, going to have some tournaments, going to have some giveaways. Yep. And it's virtual. So just because it's Southern. Uh, yeah, we had to bump ours down until next year. But we're going to try this uh, this one day uh, online event in uh, October 10th, right, Sagan? October 10th, yeah. All right, Don, how about you? How, how do they get in touch with you? Um, I, I don't really have anyone. On Twitter, Don Lyles, right? On, twi on Twitter, DK Lyles. Okay, lots. All right, I'm gonna send you guys to the green room then. Hold right. on. Let's see what we got here. And I am BJ from Board Game Gumbo. And until next time, everybody, laissez les bon temps rouler. <laughs>